Make sure you hit the button this time. Is that going to be an ongoing joke? As long as you keep fucking up. Do you, that's how you're good like that? You're I'm comfortable. I'll check it out. Okay. Is that your target bag? Uh, yes, it is my target bag. Okay. Yes. I didn't know where it came from. Because I left my Walmart bag somewhere else. You have a Walmart bag? I did, yeah. Just It's just to carry shit around. I have, yeah. I, have the, I use the Verizon and the Target. So... We're almost there, Larry. We're almost there. Episode 95. 95. 95 of the Better Half Podcast. We would have been live if we had some logistic problems, um, but we'll talk about that a little later in this episode. Oops, sorry. I owe everyone a swig of beer. All right, there we go. We might have to pause because apparently my wife does not know how to start a fire. My wife. Um, and she has guests over with my son and his friends, and... Okay. They're going to be making s'mores, Ooh, so we, we, might, we might pause for the pa- s'mores. Pa- ah, I like that. What a doodle. Pause for the s'mores. I'm sorry I'm chewing. I'm eating pizza. Good, good dinner. for you. Good for you. Uh, everyone, again, welcome back to another episode. Um, thank you, everyone who's listening, who's following. Remember, you know, hit that uh, like button, uh, hit the five stars, hit the thumbs up, whatever it is. You can tell us to go fuck ourselves as long as you give us a five star rating. We do not care. Is, you can tell us that gold is yellow as long as you hit five stars. It's some crazy algorithm. There's gold in them nar hills. Say your mustard yellow. Oh, love that commercial. <laughs> I don't remember that commercial. It's the two uh, like uh, uh, old to- old timey western uh, pro- uh, prospectors. Yeah. In the mustard aisle, and uh, and they're like, "Hey, your mustard yellow." Guy comes up. I, think and he I do wants remember that. Yeah, it's because, I think it's familiar. gold. Or French's or golden. French's. Golden. Do you like smooth yellow mustard, or does it have to be deli mustard, or does it depend on what it's going on? I don't like that, like really yellow, like that, like that land shark color. Yeah, yellow. Like pure yellow. Yeah, no, I like I like golden. I like deli. Um, okay. Sometimes I'll even get. The, I like the coarse mustard. You know. Okay. Uh, well, that could be like deli mustard sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Know. I, I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not I'm not opposed to a Dijon or a honey every now and then. Dijon gets a little bougie depending on what you're putting it on. Right. Well. You know, you don't put Dijon on a hot dog. No. You can put it on your penis, but not on a hot dog. Well, yeah, more penis talk. Okay. There you go. Um, speaking of hot dogs, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. Ah. Um, what do you put on your hot dog? Being that it is the summer, it's July. When it is. The summer, and I've been going to barbecues every goddamn day of my life. It's the summer of hot dogs. Okay, there we go. Um, hey, I like hot dogs. What? Do you really? Hey, everybody. Well, that was, this is early. No, I'm just doing it because Frank wants to do an oh. impression. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Oh, you're, you're doing, you, you this went is back. Frank doing an impression. So you went back Harry and Harry. listened to episodes. Yes, I, I started listening. This is going to confuse me. Now, if we saw it doing that. No, no, it was just me. Oh, that's you? Okay. Oh, yeah, no, okay. no. Well, usually you do spaz out a little yeah, bit my, beforehand. Yeah, because yeah. he, you know, he comes in and he takes he over does. my body. So. He does. And, um, no. and plus, I'm not racist. That, that is, is true. So. No, he is. Yes, the, the, the so, ghost. Well, that is the only way I get out of that. The ghost the of Harry Carey. So, yep. The character I'm, of Harry Carey is racist I'm, and sexist, might and Frank ha- is not. I might have an, a question for him later. So... Uh, in any event, um, what do I yes. like on my hot dog? <laughs> what I, know, I know that question. <laughs> I know the question even before you're asking it. So. What uh, do you like on your hot dog? I am very straightforward mustard and ketchup. Um, I will, though, make the exception. Whoa. I'm sorry. Mustard and sauerkraut. Did I say mustard and ketchup? You said mustard and ketchup. I did. No, no ketchup. Is ketchup a no-no for you? That's what I'm going to get into. Mustard and sauerkraut okay. on a traditional dog, especially a dirty water dog. There's nothing better than a dirty water now, dog. Now, okay, so that you said that. I prefer my dogs grilled. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I would prefer grilled. Absolutely. But like when they get that little slice in, they, they start to break open yes, a little bit. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. But a dirty water dog when you're oh, walking yeah. in the city. Oh, well, I don't go in the city anymore. Oh, my God. I'm going to the city. I bought tickets. Uh, no, I won't go anymore. I'll be going to the garden, actually, in September. Okay, well. September 10th. I'm not going at all. So I'm looking forward to that. Because there's crime and murders and rapes and there is. muggings. And there is. People shitting in uh, cleaning buckets in the subway. I've, see, I've seen someone. Did you see that video? I seen that one, and I saw someone in per- live. I saw as the train was going, you know, was moving on from the train station, uh, a homeless man decided to um, hike, hike himself up in between the cars. Oh, ooh. and defecate. While he was moving. Yes, and started defecating That's, while he you was know moving. What? I'm not even upset at that. I'm actually impressed. Now it was outside, so it wasn't in the tunnel, so he had no fear of knocking himself out. Um, and if you're going over... Yeah, uh, people like that should just fall to their death. Uh, look, the homeless, there's only one solution for the homeless. Round them up and put them on an island. 
Well, I was. I thought you were going to say like air gun to the head. Why would I say that? Well, well, I, I don't want to be say. rude. Let them figure it out. I'd watch that shit on pay per view. Oh, totally. Remember bum fights? Yes, I do remember the bum fights. I did, but no, I think honestly, um, like going back to. Oh, shit. Did you forget? All right, welcome fight? to episode ninety-five of the Better Half You're Podcast. With me, right? Are you fucking with me? Ah. Uh, I will hit you with this. Yeah, my my wife. If you could hear thumping, that's my wife uh, and her friends and their kids all upstairs. <laughs> Is that your wife me. running around? Probably chasing my son. Is that her? <laughs> um, Hot dogs. Yes. Uh, the exception with the ketchup, though, I was going to say is if uh, it's a cheese dog. A cheese dog. Cheese dog. So you slice the hot dog down the middle. Wow. <laughs> Should I go worried I... that someone's getting murdered up there? There are two adults up there. They are. So I don't think you have any responsibility whatsoever. We might have to press pause for one second. All right. We'll be right back. This is my fucking life. And then I just go to uh, Discord and uh, find the server for the OnlyFan links, and then I'm good to go. Oh, uh, we're back. <clears throat> we're back. You're addicted to porn. Well, I... Yeah. Okay, cheese dog. Okay, cheese dog. Yes, where were we? Cheese dog. By the kids are dicks. Honestly, and this is two days later. This is how bad it was. Good Lord. Um, so the only the only exception uh, with the ketchup on a hot dog is cheese dog. So you just cut the cheese... You, you cut the dog in half... Not completely in half. You make like a pocket. You said cut the cheese. You make like a pocket, and you put the cheese in the middle. Are we talking a slice of cheese? Yeah, a slice of cheese. I'm not talking about cheese whiz, boy. That sounds disgusting. No, you put a... Cold cheese? Would you listen to me? Okay. This is before you start cooking the dog. So you put the cheese in the middle, then you put the dog with the cheese on the grill, because they cook fairly quick. Well, they're cooked already. Yeah, exactly. So basically, it's heating it up. Um, And then... And then you... uh, and then ketchup. That's the only time I allow ketchup on a hot dog. Now, what I don't understand, and uh, Rob, please explain this to us. Was Rob born and raised in Chicago? I'm going to go with yes. Okay. What the hell's wrong with a Chicago dog? Nothing. What's up with the pickle? Pickles are good. But on a dog like that? Dude, the way I see it, it's like the whole pizza conundrum. Okay? If you could fit it in a bun, it don't matter. Mm. Okay? Because... You- First of all, my thing is I hate onions. Or is it tomato? What's on there? Tomatoes are on there, right? I thought you were going to ask me what you don't like. <laughs> I'm no. like, I can't help you. No, there. no. On the, on the Chicago I'm pretty dog, sure. tomatoes, I believe. What's on a Chicago hot dog? You can't type anything, can you? You have to just speak to everything. Fucking Siri. You know Chicago hot dog. In the Midwest, a Chicago-style hot dog is served on a poppy seed bun and topped with mustard, fresh tomatoes, mm-hmm. onions... Mm-hmm. "Quote unquote sport peppers." I don't know what that's in quote. Oh, uh, I know what those are. Uh, bright green relish, dill pickles, and celery salt. Okay. Nah, no. I would eat that with the exception of the onions and tomatoes because I hate both. I like onions. I'm not a fan of tomatoes. But still, I'm. Uh, you know what? Let's see what what kind of hot dog. Let's see what kind of different style hot dogs are there. No, there's too many. We'll be here all day. Well, well let's, let's see what the good ones. Can the I, top can five. I, can go. I say go. What, go, go. My, what, yes. I, what I like on mine. Go. While you're looking. Okay. I'm not opposed to just ketchup, but I get made fun for that. I get made fun of for that. Mm-hmm. Just but, straight ketchup? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I've seen people do that. You know, I'm, I'm like a kid. A kid, you know, it's it's the yummy phase. You're like you a know? fat kid, yeah. Well, better being a fat adult. But. That is true. Um, oh, but lately, I've been doing ketchup and mustard and, and or sauerkraut and relish. Sauerkraut and ketchup? Why not? I don't see those two going together. Well, there's a lot of shit you do that I don't see going together. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna. And relish. Know. I just recently started eating relish, probably about a year ago. Yeah, I'm not. A f- I'm not. I'm not on the relish bandwagon it's basically yet. Pickled. No, I know, but still, I'm not there yet. I wasn't. I was scared of relish. Yeah. And then someone said, "Dude, you have to try it." So I tried it, and I liked it. And I was like, "What am I missing?" Now, when you talk onions on a hot dog, right? You talking about like the red? No, uh, I hate onions. Okay. Across the board. Gotcha. Unless they're like really cooked down, like obviously in a sauce or a chili, you don't taste it. Yeah. You know, but like if onion or tomato are on a sandwich or a salad, gone. But usually the onion, usually. Those red nasty. Like the red, no, yeah. No, the no, red. Because no. that's what a New York that dog is. That looks like fucking diarrhea. A I'm New York sorry. dog is a hot dog on a bun, mustard, sauerkraut, and red and onion sauce. That looks me. like a homeless man's diarrhea. Um, You know, I'm just going to just a couple of these. And really it's more the... Oh, they're all kind of named. Dude, California's probably got one. Avocado. Um, 
Man. Uh, they might. There's a lot. All right, here we go. Again, just a few. I Seattle. Me, okay, Seattle. Oh, my gosh. It's all right, liberals. let's do this. Oh. This is, okay, great game. <laughs> this is going to get us okay. through the day. A Seattle dog. Let Seattle dog. Okay. okay. So, yeah, Seattle dog is going to be on a multi-grain bread. I will say this without giving anything away. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Nathan's or a uh, Ballpark Frank, uh, if you will. Oh, Oh, so it's not even a hot dog. It's like a, a bratwurst or something. Right? Okay, bratwurst. Okay, and it's going to have like wheat germ and um, like honey mustard, not regular mustard, and like some sort of like avocado and uh, sprinkled with salt, pepper, and love. <laughs> and a little bit of shotgun shells. Uh, so Seattle is bratwurst, cream cheese, sliced raw jalapenos, Chopped cabbage and sriracha. You lost me cabbage, but I would eat that. What's it on? Uh, it looks like just a, a hot dog bun, or like a long hot dog bun. Chopped cabbage. Yeah, that sounds like Seattle. Fucking loser. Uh, let's see. But except if we have any listeners from Seattle, we're glad to have you aboard. Michigan, Italian, Chicago. There's a Chicago style. Oh, Kansas Bears. City, potato. What? What did we say? California. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore. What other places do we have fans? Wow, no, 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 California. At least not well, listed here. I don't know where Lawrence is from. I think he's from France. Uh, there is the France. Uh, long hot dog <laughs> on a baguette, covered in shredded gruyere, then broiled That's cheese. I know what that is. Well, I'm sorry, Mister Fancy, uh, sophisticated cream cheese eater. Let's see what Vietnam has to offer. We here to make a movie now. Um, now. Dig him out. Let's see. Comes with a grenade. I'm pretty sure my father never had this. Uh, long sausage in a French roll mm. with julienne pickled vegetables. That sounds boring, actually. That sounds like gay coleslaw. That just sounds terrible. <laughs> gay coleslaw. Um, all right. So, yeah, definitely a ton of different hot dogs. Uh, I'll, I'll leave this one because it's, it's near New York, I guess. This is the Coney. I'm assuming they mean Coney Island. Coney Island hot dog is just it's m- Nathan's. M- Nathan's. That's it. it. Mustard. A uh, short hot dog and a short bun with chili, chopped onions, and a pile of finely shredded cheddar. How about new, you crazy Dutch bastard? Um, yeah, I didn't even watch the hot dog eating contest this year. I didn't either, but I do follow Joey Chestnut on TikTok. I just started following him on TikTok. And, and wait, I'm on TikTok. You are on TikTok. What's your username? I'm not telling. <laughs> because you don't remember it. No, it's I have, I have you know it. It's what my old Xbox name was. No, it's not. It's the oh, that's right. Your displayed name is something different. Your displayed <clears> name is is like code. <laughs> oh, it's like username zero four nine six three nine or Tommy Boy nine or seven four. Yeah, I'm on TikTok and I have some things planned for TikTok uh, that should be dropping very soon. I was actually thinking about posting. Okay, I was going to do like videos of my dog talking. That could do something. I don't need to go viral. That well. True. Either that or I'm going to do the... Um, you can't go viral. Here's the problem. You I'm going to do the baggy the baggy clothes thing and put I have a bikini on. Desperado. <laughs> now, yes. here's, you know that song, Desperado? Des- I, I okay. do know. I, okay. Now I so know it. Desperado, the next line is sitting in like an old Monte Carlo. For some reason, I go, Desperado. <laughs> Eating a... Avocado, yeah. and I don't know why. And I'll be, I'll be upstairs, and I'll be like, I'll be in the kitchen doing something. And I'm like desperado. And my daughter goes, well, she didn't know that. One. I went. This is my daughter. Now I don't want my daughter on TikTok because okay. she's 11. Yeah, and it's not appropriate because yeah. I see what goes on TikTok. A lot of horse. A lot of horse. Yeah, a lot of horse. Um, there's some good ones. There are, but some, mostly yeah, but some mostly work ones. for the government or federal government. Yeah, we'll which I still don't think her. about that. Well, she <laughs> was in the mail truck, but <laughs> we there is not it. a stain on that shirt and. She's not wearing postal shorts, so I'm still in doubt if she is definitely. She might have gotten in the mailman's truck, you know, for a blowjob or something. But <laughs> she she might be a future. I'll March, give out her she name. She might be a future March Babeness winner. <laughs> she oh my god, we could actually add t- we can add TikTok to our uh, March Babeness can, now. Oh my god, next year's is going to be phenomenal at that this point. This is insanity because that's why I mean you can't go viral. We're what? not hot twenty year olds. I could be a hot twenty year old. With the right makeup, I could. Be. I mean, we have the boobs for it, but you have the boobs for it. I have an A cup. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. Have you some? Sometimes. No, that's an A cup. It's a hairy. A-cup. God, that's disgusting. Take your shirt off. No, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. No, I, thank you. I'm gonna go hang myself now. I'm thank gonna you. hang myself right now. Just do it already, thank okay? You. You're pissing me off. Okay. 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 No. Is this beam? Is this a steel beam? Um, that's a that's that's a, the uh, 
That's the supporting wall. Okay. Um, you're not going to hang yourself. Stop it. You do this every time. You, you, you know, if, if you're unhappy about it, do something about it. I, I was unhappy about it. I did something about it. I lost 40 pounds. My wife's almost down 40 pounds. Good for her. Oh, man. The, the banging. Oh, I don't, I don't want, want, I don't oh, want to hear about it. She looks I so hot. Don't want, I'm sure my she does. So hot. Oh, my God. But you got pictures? Later. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Remember, you have a new follower. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, no, I don't have pictures. No, my wife wouldn't. Do, I I've been begging my wife to send me a fucking sel- a nude selfie once forever, and she never would, never did. Once I got a girlfriend to do that. This is decades ago when like like webcams just started coming out. And you remember um, those uh, those spy cam websites? Like you you like there's a, there's like a, a like a stripper's locker room. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that was you're sitting there and, like they just put makeup on. And I'm sitting there with my dick out for half an hour going, <laughs> what's happening? Oh, and then you flip down. Came someone's three sleeping times. in bed. No, I oh, yeah. You know, it's like it was always like you know there was always that one girl. She was like the yep. first one. Her name was like Jen or something. It was oh. the one. That, remember, she was or Kelly. It was like well, there was next door Nikki. No, no, this is oh no no no, no 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 yeah. Uh. Um, before that whole uh, uh, Phil Flash, uh, uh, that guy made fucking tons. Of, he was a mailman. Who? Phil Flash. Who's Phil Flash? He did Next Door Nikki and Megan QT. And I all don't that. remember that. Oh, that was his whole website. You really? could probably Google. He was a fucking mailman. And he started taking pictures of his like his friend's daughter. Like he said, he goes, "I was taking pictures of my friend's daughter. I guess she was over eighteen, yeah. and hope so. I hope so too." And then he goes, "One day he they suddenly wanted to pay him for it." I think I found her. Jennifer Ringley is an internet personality and former life caster. She is known for creating the popular website Jenny Cam. Jenny Cam. I said it was wow. Jen. Was that a recall? I can't remember Holy what I did three <laughs> hours ago. Okay, but I remember the first internet porn. Oh, what is... Uh, previous... I'm reading this from Wikipedia. Previously, live webcams transmitted static shots from cameras aimed through windows or at coffee pots. Do you remember it also, what do you call it? It also like updated every 10 seconds, so it wasn't an actual feed. Oh, it was just like man. stills every 10 seconds. In June of 2008, CNET hailed Jenny Cam as one of the greatest defunct websites in history. <laughs> wow, that is wild. Yeah. Now, ladies, what you don't understand Ooh. is the only reason why men looked at, at internet porn back in the day of the AOL days, let's be, um, <laughs> Larry, you, probably hey, know, you could probably... Uh, the same answer that it's going to come out of my mouth is we were hoping to see someone we knew. Oh, absolutely. That's all. That's, and then it just grew. And I actually said, or I think I spoke about this on the podcast. I actually thought I saw somebody I knew. Yeah. I had a picture once from AOL of a girl that I kind of hooked up with upstate New York when I used to go upstate in the summer. Mm-hmm. This, the, the, when I downloaded the picture, it was the same name as her. And it looked just like her. And I was, uh, someone told me um, about someone that I knew. I was like, oh, okay, and turned out it was a man, and he, he's gay. So I'm like, oh, right. wasn't expecting that. I mean, like half well, hour after watching the video, what were we I was like, about before we got to internet porn. I'm gonna read uh, later. I'm gonna read the origins of Jenny Cam because she sounds like she had a fun time at Dickinson College in Carlisi, Pennsylvania. Wow, they have everything. God bless the internet. Nineteen year old Nine installed times. a webcam in her college dorm room. Did her roommate know? Uh, the web page would automatically refresh every three minutes with the most recent picture from the camera. Right, that was the first That's one. That's what you just said. What did you I do said, for I two minutes and fifty nine seconds? Jerked off, <laughs> kept it going. Just hope she was in the shot. Initially, anyone with internet access could observe the often mundane events of her life. Oh, so at first she just posted. She wasn't doing anything sexual. Yeah, no, she no, just, no. She was just like it was like basically you would just like. A few, on her life. a few months after she started, then she started charging viewers. Goes, hmm, I'm getting a lot of people watching this. Uh, her first webcam contained only black and white images. Um, she, Jenny Cam attracted up to 4 million views a day at its peak. So, okay, she was born in 76. Okay, so that would make her... Oh, and in 96. All right, so oh, she's born in 76? She was born in 76. So that means she's 45 years old right now. Yeah. I mean, no one wants to watch her now, but... Well, probably 47-year-old men would. <laughs> this, this is a wild story. Wow. Her, her, her website was hacked. She received death, stre- uh, death threats. Uh, the hackers turned out to be approximately 100 people, including a handful of teen pranksters. Yes, that's that's some crazy teen stuff. Pranksters. She graduated in May of 97 with a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. So she's about my age. 
Then she moved to Washington, D.C. This is wild. I wonder if we can get her on the show. You know what to do, Larry. In 1999, clips from the Jenny Show were included in the Museum of Modern Arts exhibition, Fame After Photography. Then she went to Sacramento. Oh. And she's dead. She shut down her site in December 31st, 2003, citing PayPal's new anti-nudity policy. Boo. Now, what, what about Venmo? Um, all right, here, and the final thing to say here, in 2016, interview with the BBC, she described herself as a programmer in California and married to a man with the very common surname of Johnson. <laughs> who, who never, never had internet access in the 90s. <laughs> Honey, what'd you do before you met me? Nothing. I was a clerk. She was on a po- uh, a podcast in 2014. All right. Well, I'm not paying her to be on this podcast. <laughs> we don't have any money. So, um, very interesting. Yeah, when you get home, look up the whole the origin of Phil Flash. I will because he if I remember, he was either a mailman or a clerk, but he worked for the postal service. <laughs> Some of the finest human beings come out of that building. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so, all right. Uh, I yes. am back from vacation. Back. Back in the New York groove from vacation. Yes, yes. Vacation's all, right. all I ever wanted to go away without my family. <laughs> Vacations, I wish they would have stayed home. Do 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 do. Record that so we could use that every year. Okay, okay. we'll do. Um, so uh, yes, these are wonderful episodes uh, when Frank talks about the fun and zaniness that he had uh, on a vacation, and this one, uh, God tried to intervene. So. God tried to smoke me, yeah, I so believe. Let's, but, uh, let's talk well, about well, it. I, uh, it. Really, I mean, I got to be honest with you, it was actually a pretty decent vacation. Real? The kids got along. I like how that's shocking. It's pretty, <laughs> it was pretty, it was pretty it was decent. It was shocking. <laughs> the kids got along for the most part. There was a few, um, there was a few, uh, few, stop, stop it, stop touching him. Stop it. Put your... <laughs> You look out that window, you look out that window. I swear to God, I'll drive right into a goddamn ditch. I will. See that ditch? I'll drive right into it. Then it was some of, Joey, see the truck? No. Joe, look up. Joey, look up from your iPad. Joe, look up from your iPod. Look at the truck. Put your arm down. Come on. Make the horn. Make them honk. I want five trucks. I want five trucks to honk their horn. No. <laughs> and then, of course, then like In the Air Tonight comes on by Phil Collins. And yeah. I'm like, I'm blasting it. And my wife's like, really? And I'm like, I have to do it. Is this the drive up? Just drive down. Dri- well, down. Well, well, drive. Yeah, yeah. Down. We went down to Ocean, going. Ocean City, Maryland. Going. You're going. Yes. Okay. Um, well, the funny thing was July 4th, we left July 5th. July 4th, I went to a barbecue. I got completely wrecked. Ice. Um, thankfully, before we went to the barbecue, we packed. We were ready to go before we okay. left. So we were supposed to leave about 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday, considering it was the holiday for everyone else, because it was Sunday was the yeah. holiday. There wasn't a lot of traffic. That's good. Which was, so I wasn't worried about rush hour, but- I was so wrecked that uh, we didn't leave till like nine. I've done that. I've done that on the way back. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but they were pretty, pretty good. We went down. We had, you know, uh, we we stayed at the same hotel we stayed at. No, we normally stayed. That's like our fourth time there. The greatest thing about Ocean City, Maryland, was, with the exception of the four or five or maybe eight Asian people that we saw, <laughs> who were only ones wearing masks. And I'm like, to my wife, I go, they know something we don't. Well, they normally wear masks anyway. Right. But yeah. you would have not have known that there was everything called. COVID-19 because there was zero social distancing, there was Good. zero masks, and it was fucking wonderful. Good. Yeah, but wait, uh, I'm so calling you out, dough roller. Uh-oh. Learn to fucking get iced coffee. I mean, seriously, at the end of the day, the coffee that you don't use, put into a thing, put it in the fridge. Next morning, I come in, I want iced coffee. No, uh, we have coffee. We have ice cubes. I can make you an iced <laughs> coffee. I'm like, you should do that. And then bring me an extra cup of ice cubes because the hot coffee is going to melt the cubes and I'm going to have watered down coffee. <laughs> How hard is it in this day and age to get ice so coffee? So you were asking for an ice coffee at what time? 10 o'clock in the morning. When everyone else has already been up for a few hours. No, no, no. You don't understand. Now, you've been to Ocean City, so don't play dumb. But uh, I know you're just doing it for the sake of the podcast. It I was impossible to get fucking places, like, to get breakfast, You everything was a half hour wait. Yeah, no, you would have to, and usually I get breakfast, we would get breakfast at, like, one of the restaurants. Right, there was Happy Jack's, there's Dole Roller, there's a few other places that we go to, you know, um, but it was, it was, I mean, everything was half hour wait, 45 minute wait, and finally we just, we found this one place that was like a whole, it was new. Yeah. It was actually, I don't know the last time you were down there, I know mm, you've been while, down there. Yeah. But there's a lot of new restaurants down there. Um and good ones, so yeah. It's my cousin only had one kid. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Last yeah, time we went, so, so that was, that was, that was seven years ago. ago. But um, you know, we did the usual things. The good thing about Ocean City, Maryland, if you've never been there, is no matter what age child you have, uh, they're 
are many things they could do. And if they age out of something, they age into something else. So, like, my kids don't do the kitty, the, the baby kitty rides mm-hmm. anymore because they're too old for that. But they aged into the slightly more expensive <laughs> adult rides, you know, because now my daughter is at that age where she's above every line, so she yeah. can go on everything, with the exception of, like, that slingshot, which she's never going on anyway because <laughs> I, I won't let her. Um but um, so she went on all the rides. My son, I think, could go on all but two. Mm-hmm. Um, and we did the whole water park one day. And let me tell you, I, one thing I, I got to say about Ocean City is I go down there. There's a I, water park there? The Jolly Roger water park. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah with yes, the big yes, giant yes, pirate yes, head. Yes, yes, water. That. Some fine, fine looking specimens over there. You oh, know yeah. Saying? But there's also the people who look like um, Chris Farley in a bikini. <laughs> Making me feel really good about my body because <laughs> I'm not exactly what I like to call arms um, svelte. But good for them so, for you know. But yeah, more power to them. Yeah. Better looking for me, you know. I'm like, because I'm looking on. I'm like, I go to my wife. I go, you know, I'm not that fat. That motherfucker over there, he's fat. <laughs> you know, the, the hairy beach ball. Yeah, he's fat. Um, but uh, tram still goes up and down the the st- thing. Still goes up and down right. the thing. Uh, again, we did all usual haunts. Um, but um. What is going on up there, for fuck's sake? That's my daughter. You hear that mouth? She's singing. Oh, she goes to me. She goes, when am I on your podcast? When do you need me? I go, oh, do I need to book your agent? I'm like, I'm like, do, do you have a publisher? And she's like, I want to go on it. When do you need me? Oh, okay. I'm like, all right, yeah. When I when I, when I find something from the '80s, like, so if, like those things. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be hard to find something because she the, her favorite Hold show. Hold on a second. Shut up. Yeah, it worked out well. Kids suck. Um, it's hard because she, her her favorite show is from the eighties. Uh, not from like is based in the eighties. Oh, she's all into the eighties now. Yeah. She's all into the eighties now. Like, um... <laughs> Juliana, I'm recording. Shut up. <laughs> Lower your voice. Frank is Frank is arguing with his daughter daughter through the ceiling. I, I really, I really just through the ceiling. I, I, we should have did this in your house, first of all. Secondly, I I need time away from everyone. <laughs> like I need a week of of being in my underwear, Chinese food, video games, and I don't know. I don't even want like like I, I just want someone to serve me like like appetizers. You and the dog. That's it. No, not even a dog. Well, oh. maybe, but no, because then I gotta care for someone. No, just like, <laughs> like he's gonna have to be fed. Yeah, no, I got you. No, just someone who come in every now and then, walk in and go and says like, I got pizza rolls. Oh, okay, just leave them right next to me. Some Tortino pizza rolls. Yeah. Or well, you know, pizza rolls. What is it? Tortino, Gino's. Yeah. I don't know. One of those. You know, something like that will come in with. I have empanadas. Okay, leave me seven. You know. <laughs> um. Did you have any uh, street food in Ocean City? Yeah, yeah, we had um, we had uh, well. The funny thing is, what I I didn't have you know they had that fractured prune down there, the um donut yes, place, yes, with yes. the ready to make yep. hot donuts. My wife wanted to go on day one and get it, and I wasn't feeling it. I didn't get it, and I didn't get one all week. So, <laughs> but I did get I I okay. So, am I the asshole here? This Absolutely. Is, you know, here, New new game. Am I the asshole? <laughs> so we go to you know readers. They have them up here. Readers ices. Oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So they have that one. I think it's called like the Blendini or something. Whatever. No, it's I forgot it what it's disappears. called. Disappears. No no. It's it's the custard, the ices, and then the custard again. Oh, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. It's fantastic. Yeah. Gelati, gelato, whatever. I'm not a fan it's of custard, but okay. Well, it's just ice cream. Yeah. It's like a gelato. What the. Fuck? Well, anyway, they have one like it's their version of the Blizzard. Okay. Okay. So oh, the monsoon. I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yeah, well, we almost had a tornado, but um. But uh, so she makes. I look up and I'm like, I, I'm like, yeah. Let me get the large blendini, and I go, this is the flavor I want, and this is the topping in it, whatever. So she gives me the cup large, and it's not even really like a large; it's like a medium. And she's like, nine eighty two, and I'm like, whoa. I'm like, what? <laughs> then she hands me the cup, and there's I could see the bottom of the cup because the way it blended, everything went against the sides <laughs> of it. So I go, I go, you just charged me ten dollars for this. I go, I could see the bottom. I literally, Larry, I'm like, I could see the bottom of the cup. <laughs> The lady goes, that's how it's blended. I go, that's not an, that's not a good enough answer. So the other girls, I got it. Grabs my cup. Yeah. Fill, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> fills it up. Fills it yeah, up yeah. with more custard. Gives it a one quick mix. Then puts more toppings on. Ah. 
And she goes, here you go, sir. And I was like, thank you. Fourteen seventy five. No, thank you. And and I I gave her the ten. I said, keep the change. No, wow. No, there no, you I, go. No, no. I, I and said, slapped the other one. And, and I was like, and I'm like, and I wanted. I really. The other one was the, she was the girl who helped me was a teenager. The older the Figures. one who who was an asshole was an adult. Oh, okay. She was older, and she was like, that's just the way it's blended. You can't now, have another one. Am I the asshole? Uh, okay, so yes, but. The re- because you started the issue. Where I didn't start the issue. I just looked and was like, you could have presented it better. Instead of shoving it back in her face. I didn't shove it back in her face. And I like, turned it and faced it to her so she yeah. could see. I go, I could see you <laughs> through the plastic of this cup Wait, and you, you could see me. You could have been, excuse me, miss, uh, I apologize. I, I think um, you know. I would like a little bit more um, to fill up the cup. No, because she would have been like, well, that's an extra $3. But for, why should I pay for a half empty cup? Well, I feel like. Any any price it would be, you you might have an issue with it anyway. Why? I, I'm just saying. I don't know. I have that good feeling. What? I, I, do I have you want to know? Excuse me. Fuck face. Do you? Did you just knock over my dimes? <laughs> I didn't know that was full. This is why you shouldn't be touching I, things. In my I house. wanted it to make the shuka 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 noise. To me. Listen to me. <laughs> And I knocked over, See, folks. If you the amount of money that I spent this past the past two weeks, because now I have an electrician problem that I have to pay for. <laughs> okay, so don't call me cheap, motherfucker. Okay, because the last thing I am, I I actually said to Stephanie before we left, I go, look, I know the kids are gonna bother us for a ton of stupid shit. I go, let's just give it to them. I go, I don't care what it costs. We're not poor. We have the money. Let's enjoy ourselves. And we did. With the exception of one or two things, like my daughter wanted to find, play all the fucking the stupid games that are all fixed. You know, the carnival oh, those games, games are awesome, but the little, you know, I can never get the I, little ring over well, over the bottles. That's because it's, it's, it's fucking rigged, Larry. I, they're I'm, all rigged. They say they're not. I'm telling no, you. No, they are. Because I'll tell you what happened. I found out from the guy who works there. <laughs> from one of the carnies? One of the carnies. Small feet. Smell like cabbage. <laughs> um, I'm sitting there. I'm waiting for the kids to get off a ride, and I'm here. The stupid uh, thing that they shoot with the water into the mouth of the clown. With the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, winner, 12, winner, 12. And I'm like, oh, okay. So then I hear go. And we got a winner, number 12, number 12. And I'm like, four times in a row, 12 ones. So I, I walk over, I'm like, I got to check this out. So <laughs> 12 gets up, I put my $5 down, and I won on 12. Okay, okay. Well, you're good. So you're, I said to the guy, you're I go, a crack shot. I said to him, I go, dude, what, what's going on? Was I, I 12 won five times in a row. He goes, he goes, listen, he goes, you, you didn't say anything? I go, no. What? Like you have a face of like a friendly face. You'd be like, "Hey, you can tell me secrets." I have a friendly face. I feel like people don't want to talk to you. That's what you said. <laughs> I'm rubbing your glue. Everything you say bounces off me, goes sticks to you. So you staring at my gut? <laughs> no, I'm staring. I was reading what your yeah, shirt no, said. I think you staring. At I was my reading gut. what your shirt said. It's from the post, the VFW post. Well, right? what I'm saying is from a TV show. Yeah, I understand. Um, but he goes, "It's a new balloon. The other balloons are stretched out, so they won't they won't blow up. It's fa- they won't <laughs> explode." Yeah. Fa- I go. I go. No, that that's funny. because twelve always wins, so he has to change that one all the time. As soon as one of the other ones wins, he'll have to change the balloon. Right, because it's a new balloon. Exactly. He changed. He probably changes all of them in the morning. Mm. Look, carnies are fair folks. I can't imagine them trying to cheat anyone out of money. It's not them. It's the owners of the Jolly oh. Roger amusement park. I'm sure. Wow. All right, <laughs> Jolly Roger amusement park does not sponsor. No, the better and, uh, podcast. You try to sue me. I don't have anything, so <laughs> good luck. Um, um, what did you? Um, I mean, did you did you walk the boardwalk? Oh yeah, no, we walked the boardwalk a few times. We also went to. Uh, did you see the spray painter guy? The gray spray. Oh, the wait, the guy who sprays the, who does the, the, the yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they got a whole like. Uh, there's a three man crew now. When I went, there was only two. No, there's two guys painting. Oh, and then there's a bar next to each other. There are two guys painting. They have the oh. face masks on. That guy, he's on YouTube because he just like. Well, there was two sets of guys. Well, uh, one, all right. Uh, well, then one of the guys because I got art from that from one of I those know, guys. You wasted You're, your money. Uh, on that. What do you? I love that. Yeah, well, that's like my favorite piece like, I have. I feel like this guy's zero rea. <laughs> Could you not so, fucking um, do, listen, Opie? That so, shit was no, no, Opie. Listen, that shit was done in the nineties. Stern, oh, that's fun. I'm gonna burp on camera. Have a snapple. Oh, you okay? And then fucking Opie came along. I've been doing this since I'm eighteen. I'm the legend. And he burped on, on fucking on the air. You're neither, and neither am I. So please don't burp on air. It annoys the fuck out of me. So I got the art from him uh, years ago, and I actually have on my YouTube page which, mm-hmm. at more three sixty five. Um, you can actually see the video of him doing it, and then like all of a sudden, because I forgot last year, pretty much everything was shut down. 
like he posted like 50 videos. I was trying to find you in them just in case because they were fairly Did recent ones. Yeah. Oh. He posted a ton of them. Oh, maybe. Just walk into the background. I know you wouldn't buy yeah, them. Yeah, no, but... no. Because you just said you're not into it. Right. Because they're, yeah. they're, it's like, oh, look at me. I put a pan over. No, it's actually, moon. it's very cool. No, no, the way the final product yeah. comes, it's cool. But Have you seen the... mine? Yes, you showed okay. it to me. Yeah. No, no, they're cool. Yeah. I just personally don't like them. That's just me. Okay. But, but they had the gray guy who was supposed to sit still. He's a statue. You know, he's painted oh, yeah, gray. Yeah, yeah. He kept moving. <laughs> and I'm like, you're not a statue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Good thing you weren't there when the truck blew up. There was. That was the day before, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, but apparently, no, a few place, biz, a few businesses were actually closed oh, because sure. of that. Um, I guess they just couldn't make it back to open or whatever. But, uh, yeah. But no, we did the whole boardwalk thing. We, we, one thing we didn't do is, which my wife loves to do every time we go down there, is that stupid uh, old timey portrait with the kids. <laughs> and meanwhile, my daughter was like, "My daughter was like, let's do it as a family because usually we just do the kids." Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, let's do it." And I was like, "Sure, I'll do it." I said, "You know, I said to my wife, listen, if you wear a booster, yeah, I'll do it. I don't get." We never did it. So, but I did have ice cream like four nights in a row. There you go. So that was good. Shaved uh, ice? Did you have the shaved ice? Did not have the shaved oh, ice. I had missed no, the shaved ice. I had so the bad. Polish ice, which I don't know Is what that the ice you eat backwards. No, it's actually I'm sand. I'm sorry. Well, here, you know that old joke about the Kosciuszko Bridge. Why they named it after a Polish guy? No, it's supposed to be a tunnel. Terrible. Thank you. I'll be here a week. Try the veal. Um, Terrible. Um, going to hell. I missed the shaved ice, and there was a place that had the best Philly cheesesteak. I don't remember the name of the place though. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a few good places. We went to this. Last time we went was 2018, and uh, we went to this, this Italian restaurant. It's up in, like, the 60s. Okay. Um, it's called Taste of Italy. Uh, and we had a really bad experience, but we went there every single time we went, and we loved it. And I was like, oh. And she's like. Maybe she's just like, a one shot off. Well, usually our deal is this. When it comes to places, I give you two shots. If I have two bad experiences in a row, I'm done with you forever. Now, what if you go one bad experience, one good experience, but then one bad experience again? Does it reset? Yes. Okay, so you have to give it another shot. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So I remember when we went in 2018, I got, you know, nothing on the menu was triggering me, my fancy, you know. So I was like, I'll go stand it. I'll just get a chicken parmesan, which I don't, I don't normally really ever get when I go to an Italian restaurant. You know who has a great chicken parm? Delis. Certain delis, John Moore Deli in Belmore. Have you been there? I've ordered from there. You have been. Oh, jeez, fuck you. No, it's... You know, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Uber, yeah, Grubhub, yeah, yeah. Uber, Grubhub, fast food. Well, they might have Uber. Fa- Uber, fast know. food, fucking blah 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 blah. I, I hate, I hate you millennials with your technology, and you're a millennial, <laughs> so you're suck afraid it. Afraid of it? No, I'm not afraid of it. I just think it's <laughs> stupid. Some of it is just stupid. I'm not paying double. I'm not paying double. I'm not paying double. I'm not paying an extra fee to fucking uh, StubHub, uh, GrubHub, (laughs) StubHub, (laughs) Uh, to GrubHub, and then paying for the for the pizza when I could just pay the delivery guy. I'm giving someone an actual uh, a tip, okay? Who comes to my house with the pizza? Who works at the pizzeria? Clearly, that's when you use the Slice app, which is specific for pizzerias that don't charge extra. That was just an example, okay, Larry. And Let's slice. say I order Chinese food from, from Ming's Kitchen, okay? I'm not going to order from fucking Grubhub to order to pick up well, Ming's Kitchen. To be fair, that means you don't have to talk to them on the phone. I don't know what sort of fucking ext- introvert you've become. I but- hate talking to people. You hate talking to people, but you have 17 podcasts. I hate talking to people. Well, I hate talking to people too, but I do it because it's part of life, you fucking psycho. Psycho hose beast. Listen to me. So, the last time we went, I I ordered chicken palm. Oh, sorry, sir. We don't have any chicken cutlet. Ooh. We just have grilled chicken. I'm like, which tells me they make everything earlier. No. No, they ran out of chicken cutlet, which means they cook all, they made all the, they, they, now I get there is prep. My family owned a restaurant. We do make, we do prepare the chicken cutlets. But we've never run out. Okay. <laughs> okay I never, my it's father, like when KFC ran out of chicken. My father never ran out. It's like, yeah, sorry, we have no Big Mac. What? No, we're out. We just have fries and, and apple pies. Whoa, 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 aren't you McDonald's? Yeah, but we don't have any hamburgers <laughs> left. We're out of buns. Actually, we're out of bottom buns. Sorry, we have no bananas. So I was a little uh, pissed off of that. And plus, the the the, the wait for the wait, food. Was that this year? Are you talking about this, this year? 2018. Okay, okay. The wait for the food was ridiculous. And this is when there was any short staffs like there are now in 2021. What's the matter? You got something? No, don't worry about it. I could, I could be listening to you. They're not seeing us. 
So I could have just but checked I'm that seeing you. without you saying I'm seeing anything. You. I think Plus, you and Ripple wanna... have the right idea. I think if you and it... Ripple have the right idea of fucking of doing it through Skype or Zoom or whatever the fuck. Why you would do. we see each other? What? We can still see I each could, other. But I could put a piece of a post it above your face. Because like, you're a fucking a weirdo. Besides, if they want to listen about your 2018 trip, how about we just tell them to go back to listen to whatever particular episode that was when I'm sure you explained. Let's just say episode 72. All right. Okay, anyway, so this time we went back and the fucking food was phenomenal. There you go. Food was phenomenal. They the redeemed help, themselves. The help was fantastic. And this restaurant has a, um, in the front of it, it's you'd be surprised. It's connected to a Holiday Inn Express, like one of the bigger. Yeah, it's like in the six. Yeah, in the front of the the restaurant, they actually have like a, an Italian store, like a like it's almost like a like a butcher nice. and a deli. You could buy provisions, I guess, which is smart because people in the hotel they want you know the cold cuts or whatever. So we got Stephanie. Meat. No, well they have meat and cold cuts. You can get like you know like a deli. Yeah, and, and they have also like you can get steaks. Okay. And stuff, and they also have the Italian vegetables and all the okay, olives and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, Stephanie and I, when we go uh, Italian, like if we have a date night, we always get the um, charch, char, 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 Actually, you should once. know. It's, it's good. No, it's not it's Italian. Good. It's actually really good Italian no, it's food. Not, no, it's not. It's, it's, no, it's, it's made not. by Italians. <laughs> no, it's and not. a couple of Spanish guys. <laughs> no, but, it's, it's you know, not it's, Italian it's, food. It's really for good. For you, it's Italian food. Italian food. You have the taste of a two year old. I do know. What? How dare you? You don't know how to eat. <laughs> I do know how to eat. <laughs> you know And it's probably, I'll compare that to other Italian food any day of the week. Really? Yes. I will make you a $1,000 bet. I will give a plate of chicken parmesan from. A blind taste test. To a grandmother. <laughs> okay, from one plate from Olive Garden and one plate from my Italian restaurant choosing of Long Island somewhere. Okay, and I guarantee you, you will be giving me a thousand. Can we throw mine in? What? My chicken palm? The one. That the one you didn't make? I made it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Okay. You can. And I have a twelve-inch cock. Okay. And it's black. Good for you. So okay, because you didn't make that. I'll oh. go to my grave knowing that you didn't make that. You can't even tell me the first step of 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 cooking chicken palm. I don't understand what the first step be. I turned the oven on. I don't what? I don't When you have the chicken palm laid out and you're getting ready to yeah. to bread it, what is the first thing you put it in? I'm trying to figure out what you t- Oh, you mean like with with the with the uh, the breadcrumbs, the 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 uh the egg wash. What is the first thing you put it in? I'll probably put, I'll put it in the egg wash first. You put it yeah. in flour. Next. Well, I didn't have flour. It's yes. just egg wash. No. No, see this is why I know No, you, you use the no. the 100, you know, you know like the seasoning like with the 100 on it in the black can. And just put the seasoning that's right That's breadcrumbs. On. Yeah, breadcrumbs, yeah. Yeah, but that's not... Yeah. What step is that? I don't know what okay. step it is. Okay, well, it could be well, step 13, depending no. on when I start my day. No. Okay. You know, you, 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 you're you a liar. It was the best chicken palm liar, liar, I ever made. Liar, liar, pants on fire. That you ne- it's the best chicken palm you never made. Uh, okay, exactly. whatever. So, I will... Wait, wait till Verdi goes online tonight. Wait. Wait, I'm going to rip you a new asshole with my cock. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wow. So... Rude. And you pour it in a stone. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, so my wife and I got the shush, 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 shush. meat and cheese board. Yes, and there was um. Now I've had some. You've had sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, no, you never had sun-dried tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. Did we have this conversation earlier? I don't like tomatoes either. This is why I'm weird. Wait a minute, and you eat sun-dried? This is strange. I hate tomatoes, like those beefy fucking tomatoes on a sandwich or a salad. Yeah, yeah, tomato. But yeah, I like tomato sauce. Okay, I mean, okay. so do I. I like tomato soup. It's the it's the um texture texture. You look at a tomato yeah. on the outside, it's a beautiful thing. You open it up, that shit's still in the lava stage. Yeah, it's it's weird. Warm. It's weird. Yeah. And I like, and I love sun-dried tomatoes. See, that's weird. Because it doesn't taste like a tomato. I know. I'm just saying those. So. I know it's weird. But they had, in our, on our meat and cheese board, they had sun-dried peppers. Ooh. But I love roasted red peppers. Yeah, I love red peppers. I eat them raw. I'll eat, you know. These were so good that... I was like, we have to take some home. And I had the cooler. I had the cooler because you know we have no, we have the cooler Animal. for no, no, we have the cooler for the kids. It was all last night. Okay, we were leaving the next morning, so we had the fridge in the, in the room. So mm-hmm. I had the cooler because uh, we had the cooler you know, was with you. No, 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 no. The oh, cooler okay. was in the hotel room. I'm sorry, okay. but like I had the cooler in the car for the trip. So when the kids no, wanted no, no, drinks, snacks, no, no, whatever, that I get. Some fruit and stuff in there, you know. Did you put these roasted peppers in your pocket? No, we went. I go. Do they sell these at the shop? These, these, oh. And he goes, he goes, yeah. I go, all right. Why didn't you just order an extra plate and just put them in your bag? 
No, no, no. We wanted to bring them. Uh, uh, we wanted like a pound of roasted peppers yeah, exactly. to bring home. So if they ask, hey, can I get a few more no, roasted no, peppers? Kind of. No, and no. then you know they bring them to you, and you got them for free. No, that's not how it works, Larry. And they're already cooked. No, what are you fucking talking about? You don't cook a. a, a... Oh my God, what is wrong with you? You don't cook a meat and cheese board. What but you're talking about the sun dried peppers. Sun dried peppers. It's they're cooked by the sun. Oh God! I really can you fucking stop? So, can you stop, please? I'm, I'm telling just asking. You, could you fucking stop? I'm just saying. You now, you see, remember last week when you thought I hated you? Now I'm, I'm not, hating <laughs> you, okay? Because you, you're, not, you're not just asking. You're being, you're doing it on purpose. And you no, get, was, you're getting my curious. fucking blood boiling. I was curious. You're not curious. You're being stupid on purpose. I'm bi curious. What? I'm sorry. I'm a curious. See, uh, been, by you, product you, curious. <laughs> you, you've been letting little things out the last couple of weeks, and if you want to tell me something, we could shut the mics off and go back to. And listen, and honestly, I'd be very happy for you. Okay, I'd be very happy, and I actually might have someone to hook you up with. Okay, so <laughs> that's fucking weird. What? So, um, we went to the deli pot after we we you know we paid our bill. We went yeah, to the yeah. and and considering how you know cheap I am, I go. Uh, do you have any of those sun dried peppers? And he's like, yeah. I go. You know how much? And he was like, "Oh, twelve ninety nine a pound." And I'm like, "Holy shit, that's expensive." And I'm like, "I'll take two. I'm like, "Give me a pound." My wife was my wife was like, "Yeah, shoot, should we get two? And I'm like, "Like, we only need one." So I was like, "That was all, that was push it." But but we literally we got them home. We the next day we came back obviously, and uh, we got them home. And the usually we have like a routine. Uh, uh, I guess it's a routine. When we come home from vacation, we order Chinese food. It's just like a thing. We, pe- we unpack. Fucking weird. We unpack and okay. we're just like, whatever, let's just order Chinese food. We'd have Chinese food the night before on vacation. Because it's our thing. No, I'm saying if you had Chinese food the night before, or you prepare. Oh, no, we don't have Chinese food on vacation. Okay, okay. That's what no, 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 no. Okay. No, we try to go to the local places. You gotcha. Know, you know, so well, if you go to China, you're going to have to have Chinese food. I'm never going to China. Fuck okay. that place. Oh. Um, Beijing. I'm going to Wuhan. I'm going to eat some fucking bat. Oh, it came to me. It came from a bat. It was from a lab, you cocksuckers. We all know it. Um, Trump won. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, the next night, my my wife, you should you should come over for dinner one night. My wife made. Invite me. We can uh, go. I've invited you over a thousand times. You never come over. No, no, no. You came. You had dinner with me a couple weeks ago. Uh, my wife made these pork cutlets hmm. with um, brujuto and those peppers we bought. Oh, from okay. Those motherfuckers didn't have a chance. Okay, <laughs> a pound of peppers was gone in like a day and a half. It was like I'm like fuck. We gotta go back to Ocean City. So I go, would it be wrong just to drive to Ocean City for those and come back? Why not? Good four hour trip, eight hour round trip. Four. <laughs> you so, go to there. I'll go to Phillips. No, Phils. No, Phillips. 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 Yeah. God, we, I love we, Phillips. We, well, our hotel's right across from Phillips, and normally we go. Oh, you're over there. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. the, 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 the one we stay at is yeah, yeah. literally it's on 21st Street, right across from Phillips. For those yeah. familiar with Maryland, uh, uh, Ocean City. So speaking of my hotel, this is funny. Um, we come back from the from the beach or wherever one night, and we're, get, we're ready, ready to go into the elevator, and I open the elevator opens, and there's ten. Amish people in the on the elevator. Really? With the neck beards and everything. That's weird. And with the fucking bonnets on their head, and I'm like, Are they on I, that retreat? They're allowed well, to go. Well, I looked on? at Stephanie. I go, Do we go to Lancaster? I couldn't <laughs> remember. I'm like, I forgot. We're in Ocean City, right? Okay. You want a beer, by the way? No, I'm good. Oh, oh that's full. No, I have cold ones in the fridge. Oh, uh, okay. In the I was fridge. gonna say, what are we I, in England? Cold ones in the fridge. No, no, I'm good. Um, I mean, Land, uh, Land Shark is the best. But... I know that's why I remembered. Yeah. I know you like oh, it, so you. that's why I I, uh, I appreciate that. I, have, I want to shake your hand now. Thank you. I have like four or five in the in the fridge if you want. Okay. Um, so maybe I'll have one then. All right. I, I, when you tell yeah. you apart, I'll go get you one. Um, so uh, we open and I'm like, and then I, I we go upstairs to our room. Yeah. And uh, room 907, 908 <laughs> was the Mennonites. More Mennonites. Wow. They were men. They weren't Amish. They were yeah. Mennonites. And I go out into the balcony, and I look to my left, and there's a barn, and there's. <laughs> Did some some old ladies churning butter? <laughs> so on both sides of me, I got Mennonites. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. I'm blessed with God. There you go. Okay. It'd they must have checked evening. out Thursday night when the tornado came. I'll get to that. <laughs> go down, whatever. We're hanging out. There's the there was like uh, the, this place actually we stay at. It's called the Grand uh, Grand Resort Spa Grand Spa Resort. Whatever something. Whatever. Um, I don't remember the name. Some hotel. Great hotel. Very good. No, they have a pizzeria in there. They got a bar in there. They just added a game. The pizzeria actually just added a game room. Although the pizzeria sucks balls. The food, the pizza's good, but it was like 45 minutes for a fucking pizza. Mm. You know, um, I and think everyone's ordering pizzas. Like, no, just... believe it or not. When I went to find my wife, because she was missing for an hour, I went, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> and she's like, she's like, these people are morons. And I'm like, I'm like, where's the pizza? The fucking pizza's been sitting on top of the oven. They never <laughs> called her name. 
They forgot. They forgot. Cartwright. Yeah. Cartwright. <laughs> Seinfeld four. You know. So fucking. And I'm like, uh, whatever. I go. This, that's the second time that pizzeria has fucked us. So I said, that's ah, it. That's They're it. They're done. Two We're in a row. List. Done. Oh boy. So, but they do have the pineapple Hawaiian pizza, which I like. That's disgusting. But, but um, you have a list somewhere of the places you don't go to anymore. In my head. Like the Seven Eleven on Avenue uh, Z, uh, where the Blockbuster used to be on Ocean Avenue. Yeah. I don't know if it's a Seven Eleven there, but I'm, I he's off my list. The BP on Wanter Avenue, <laughs> he's on the list. I can't. I, I don't. I, I cursed him out. Um, he tried to rip me off a of rock salt in the middle of the winter, right oh, before a snowstorm. Oh, shocking! What? He, I had a tiny bag of rock salt. I go, I need a rock salt. I go, I go how much? He's like seventeen ninety nine. I go, are you on crack? He goes. I go, what? He goes, what do you want to pay? I go, the normal price. I go, I can get a bag three times the size of that at Home Depot. I was like. Why'd you go to Home Depot Well, then? I was there and I needed gas. I go, <laughs> I go, no. I said, I'm done with you. Never again. He goes, what do you, I go, not the fuck, not with you, but you're a fucking price gouger. That, that's like when uh, there was a storm coming. I had to go to the, the, the BP by me on the corner there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I pull up and for some reason it was full service. And they're like, we only have, uh, we only have premium. I'm like, you sure? Like, oh, no, all we have is premium. It's like, okay. No, I'm sorry. They pumped me unleaded. They charged me for premium. Really? Yes. That's bullshit. Yeah. Did you yell? Uh, no, because it was like the next day I discovered it. So I was like, all right, whatever. All right. Well, so um, we go back down and we're hanging out in the, in the like, there's a um, a 24-hour, like, coffee house there. Okay. So I don't know why anyone would need to be getting, you know, coffee and a muffin at 3 a.m., but hey, I'm not complaining. If you're drinking... Yeah, so we were just getting some coffee and getting some That's snacks for the kids. No, no, no. Oh. It was in the afternoon. We were just getting some iced coffee and because uh, we were going to go down, walk down the boardwalk. Cause Stephanie wanted to do a little shopping, and I just see a ton of cops. Like, but like not plain plain clothes cops, but they all got sidearms. Okay, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, is, you know, did the fucking Amish kill somebody or something? Are, <laughs> they, are they hiding? Are they witnesses? I mean, well, you know, I'm like, I'm like witness protection. Uh, yeah, program. witness protection. So, no, there was a Baltimore. Uh, there was a Maryland. Mostly Baltimore area police convention. There you go. In my hotel, I'm nice. like safest fucking well, hotel. In the- <laughs> I got I got Mennonites. I got cops, and I actually befriended one of the cops on the beach. Um, you know those? Uh, um, they have like these. It's like a motorized billboard that on a boat. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's like yeah, a yeah, giant yeah, yeah. fucking flat screen on yeah, a boat. Yep. Well, the cops must have paid for one to, like, we're recruiting. I'm like, who the oh, fuck yeah. would want to be a cop in Baltimore? So I'm on the beach. We're on the beach the next day, and, you know, I'm sitting in my chair. I got my uh, my covered my covered chair because I hate the Rented? Sun. No, my own. I bring oh, okay. my own. I have my, the one I use for the car shows. It's got the- Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, and my wife's in, in her chair. The kids are playing on the water. My son is building a fucking castle. My daughter's half buried. She ain't going anywhere. Um, and- this fucking cop comes on the beach, black shirt, black pants, black <laughs> shoes, black socks, side piece, and he's watching. And he's just standing there. I'm like, "Thank you for your service." You know, he's like, "Oh, thank you." I'm like, "I'm like, uh, I, I go a little overdressed." I go, "I go." He, he goes, "Oh, he goes. We, we paid for a billboard. I wanted to get um, a picture of it, a picture of it, a video of it." So I was like, "Oh, that's cool." And then everyone's like, "You want water?" Everyone was like very nice to the cops, okay. which I thought was fantastic. I offered him a water as well. Got the cooler with me, um, and uh, and I took a picture of him taking video of That's the thing, weird. and okay. he handed me his business card oh. before that. He goes, if you... <laughs> "Cop." <laughs> no, well, it was, he was. I don't know. He was like, "I'm not. Listen, I'm not. You're not recruiting me." So, <laughs> so I took a picture of him, and I said, uh, "I said, listen. I said, I, I got a shot of you getting video. I go, I'll email it to you." And he goes, oh, he goes, oh, thanks. That that would be really nice of you. So I emailed it to him. He wrote me back, and he's like, uh, "Please stop following me." Yeah. yeah he's, like, he's, like, he's like, "Hey, big boy." <laughs> no, he's like, he goes, "Listen, if you're ever passing through the Baltimore area, if you ever have any issues, bring your card, bring the card, and call me." I was like, <laughs> I was like, ah, it's fucking. He met you for thirty seconds, but I did a good deed. Yeah, but still, it's you. Yeah, I'm a miserable. Boy. Yeah, it's like, where's that one coming from? That's a little no, weird. I'm not. But... Please, I, my family supports the blue and veterans. Oh, so. I'm not saying so. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. So I'm very, you know, but um, but uh, we had a really good time. Good. Uh, uh, Thursday night, the night before we were about to leave, uh, we well Thursday day, the hurricane Elsa was coming up from Florida. Yeah, that's um, um, which bitch. my daughter did not fail to stop saying Elsa should just let it go already from Frozen, and I'm like, Can, if I may politely say something about kids your got my loveling wind. daughter. She sure knows when to bury a joke. Like, oh, yeah. she just, wow. I mean, drives it. 
just pow drives it into the ground. There's a lot of um, um, beaten horses around oh. her. <laughs> yeah, she, I, I tell her. Well, this is an issue with her because she could really drive someone nuts. But it was like for years, it was frozen, 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 frozen. Then fuck frozen. Frozen sucks. Frozen go eat a dick. Descendants, 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 descendants two. High school musical, high school musical, high school musical, high school musical. Stranger Things, Stranger Things, Stranger Things. Now it's all Stranger Things. Everything, 80s and Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. And then it's um, uh, still Stranger Things, but it's also 80s. And now she's watching, oh, a new thing. She likes walking. She walked into my room the other night. It was like midnight. (laughs) And she went, hiya, Georgie. Like Pennywise the Clown, yeah, I would, yeah. I was, I was punching. Like, Get the fuck out! I'm like, don't ever fucking do that again. She's like, and she scurried out of the room. I'm like, you think that's funny? I know where you sleep. I'll strangle your ass. You know, I brought you in. I will take. Oh, you I out. will take you. I almost, t- I took a door. I almost, t- I took a door off the the wall, the hinges the other day. I put it back, as you could see. But she pissed me off. I said, and she slammed the door in my face. And I was like, oh, that's it. Okay, I didn't say anything. I went to the garage. I got my <laughs> clink, 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 clink. What are you doing? Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> My door. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to get dressed? Go to the bathroom. I'm going to tell you. That's still got a door there. So, um, <laughs> kids suck. Um, yeah. I love them, but they suck. Um, I'm happy with so, them. So, yeah. So, um, all day we had like overcast. You know, uh, we all went. Day long? Th- what? All day long? All day long. All day long. So, we went into the next town over. You know the South Bridge? I don't know if you ever go all the way down to the Oh, lower... uh, I've only been a couple of times, well, but yeah. If you go yeah. across that bridge, there's like a whole other area of- Yeah, there's like, like a, there's a whole there's shopping There's mini mall. golf course. Yeah, the shopping mall. Yeah, there's, I've been there tw- there's, a There's times. outlets, yeah. and there's um, mini golf. Restaurant. There's also- Oh, I got to tell you. There's also the go-karts. So there oh, was, that's where those were. Yeah, no, there's there, and there's also somewhere that water park is. Okay. That also falls on the Jolly Roger. That's also a fucking money, money grab. But um, what? Bug? Spider? I no, keep that sp- I'm looking at the fucking tag. I keep that spider. I, I keep. Before. I keep that spider uh, alive in okay. the other room. So no, I was looking at the the New York packaging sticker. If you need to know, Mister Nosy. Well, you're looking in my laundry bag basket. But my bag is in your laundry. Did basket. Did I say you could put your bag in my laundry basket? Now I feel much better now. So that's my wife's. <laughs> She's gonna fuck you up. Put it back, good boy. Watch the change thing, okay? Um. So uh, the kids are doing go-karts for the second day in a row and miniature okay. golf. And my daughter wanted to do the rock climbing wall, but Ooh. because of the weather, they closed it. Because oh. um, I guess it was too slippery. Hand- yeah. But it was, it was kind of misty, you know? Yeah. So then they had to stop the go-karts. Thankfully, we got all of our rides in because I guess it was starting to rain a little bit harder. And I guess it would be unsafe, yeah. you know, right? So, uh, But Stupid they were lawyers. allowed to go on the water, the, the bumper boats, which didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so... It started to rain, so we headed back, um, and then we were kind of, kind of stuck in the hotel for a little bit, for a little while, because it started to rain. Um, went out to dinner. By the time we finished dinner, we went to the Italian restaurant. By the time we got back from dessert and everything, it was full blown raining out. Okay. So about, I don't know, about nine thirty, ten o'clock, we ended up back in the hotel room and we're sitting out on the balcony, and the wind is kicking up. And you know what? Sometimes just sitting on the balcony in shit weather is kind of nice. Sometimes. Well, our room faced. When you face the ocean. Right, right. Yeah. So our room face, and I'm like, look, I'm like, I go to my daughter, I go, look at the beach, look at the beach. Half the beach was gone mm-hmm. already. Well, at that point, a quarter of the beach was gone. Yeah. So, um, but it was, the wind started kicking up. Then all of a sudden, we hear from above us, um, bang, this huge crash. And then like sliding, sliding a noise and then crash. The patio furniture on every balcony is the same. It was two chair, two chairs and yeah. a table. Those were getting slammed into the metal <laughs> divider between each person's, each room's balcony. Meanwhile, Jebediah and Abraham were like, we got this. I think they checked out by them because, again, <laughs> we weren't protected by God. So I'm like, wow. Okay. Like, now, my daughter's by the railing, and like she went to, she stepped back from the railing, and like she actually sidestepped like the wind. I was like, all right, get your ass inside. Yeah. So I stayed out there for a few seconds, uh, about a few more minutes, I mean, and... Uh, the second I got up from the chair, it went. <laughs> it didn't. It fucking. Sl- I was like, okay, time for me to go in. <laughs> so we ended up watching like a marathon of impractical jokers. About eleven thirty, I'm like, all right, lights out. We gotta, we gotta drive tomorrow. Yeah. So, pretty much, we were almost, pretty much almost packed. I tried to get everything done the night before so we could just get out. Um, and then about eleven forty-five at night, I mean, the wind is. You could hear it out. When I happened to look out the window and. How'd the, it go? And the beach was pretty much half gone okay. at that point. And my daughter's like, Jules, come here, take a look at this. And she's like, where we were sitting at the beach when I, you know, mm-hmm. with the cop, 
was completely underwater. I was like, oh my god! It was like I was crazy. I was like, I never really said. Then I get the fucking my phone alert goes on the tornado warning. Oh yeah, because so, it's a proximity thing. Right. So we're on the ninth floor. So I, I look at my daughter goes immediately to the window and I grab. I go get the fuck away from the window. <laughs> She's like, why are you so angry at me? And I'm like, <laughs> and I don't want to see my son. My son is already my son is visibly scared. Okay, because he. So I pull Julie on her side. I go. This is why. I go. Keep it together. And I show her the phone. She's like, oh, okay. So she goes back in bed. I go. Why are you always angry? <laughs> because they give, me they give me a lot of reasons. So um, I, Stephanie and I read it and it says, you know, uh, if you're Kiss your on, your, on a boat or outside, seek cover. If you're inside, go to a basement or a bunker. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I never got, I've never experienced that in my life before. Yeah, I'm right? like, I'm like. I'm like, well, what do we do? And she's like, I don't know. She's like, do you want to go downstairs and, and see what the, mm -hmm. you know, the guy at the checkout says? And I'm like, I go down there, and there's already like a bunch of people out there. <laughs> there's literally like a party going on in the lobby, <laughs> people, because there were people still walking on the beach, oh, on, I'm sure. on the beach and the boardwalk at like 10:30 at night. Oh, when totally. You know, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna have the flag in the hurricane. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 exactly. the world, man. You know, yeah. so. So the guy is already answering. There was a couple there already asking, like, and I'm like, you know, what do we do? And they're like, he's like, the best place for you people are in your room. He goes, the tornado's nowhere near us. It's just a warning. He goes, we have. Uh, That's a Hojo problem. This is a holiday. Yeah, We're yeah. Good to go. Sorry, no. Yeah. So, um, sorry. You might want to go to the quality end for that. <laughs> um, he goes, we have a. Uh, we have a no tornado. I guess warning. they have a. Um, not a deal, but like. Correspondence if, with, with, with the police If your department. weekend gets ruined no, no, by the tornado. The local police department notifies all the hotels, yeah. I guess, via a text. I don't know how, yeah. but he goes, he goes, if we hear from them, they'll tell us. And then we, he goes, there's a PA in every room and in every hallway. That's weird. And he goes, and he goes, you'll just get an announcement, you know, take the stairs down. Well, every hallway would make sense, but every room, like at like 2 o'clock in the morning, like, uh, hey, fat boy, wake up. You, or, or, or more like a. Can you your wife and wake up. <laughs> exactly. Can, can, can you move to the left, please? Oh, yeah. No, that red light oh, is not yeah. an alarm. It's it's not a camera. It's a smoke <laughs> alarm. It was a blinking red light. Don't think I didn't get on a chair and fucking do what it was. Because I did. Because I'm fucking paranoid. So, um, Don't mind the one in the bathroom. Yeah, so... Um, so all right. So you had so, so was there so, a hurricane or even a, a well, typhoon? Well, we had the. It was a tropical storm by the time it hit us. Yeah, that's for but, the, um, that's, that's for uh, insurance reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but it was fine. I pretty much went. I took two melatonin. And I'm like, I'm going to bed. Fuck this. <laughs> two melatonin. So, Good yeah. Boy. So, um, you but are big. I have I have a hotel hack. What does that mean? Okay, I, you know, like life hacks. Yeah. You know how the curtain never closes all the way? There's always that one line. Sometimes you get that one line. I was I, I used to put up a, a chair up against it, you know, try and keep it closed. Yes. I discovered something. Cuz one's behind the other. Correct, but sometimes they don't close right, you okay, know? Yeah. And there's always like that one little gap all the way up top. Yeah, yeah. You know the hangers in the closet that no one ever uses? They okay. got those two hooks on them. Aren't they the supposed to be clips? attached? To the no, ring. no, the, the ring is you could take them off, oh, but yes, there's yes, no, yes, there's yes, no, yes, there's yes, no yes. head to it, you know? It's been a year and a half, yeah, I yeah. apologize. So, you know they have the two two clips at the end of it yeah. for pants or whatever? I put those on the curtains. Where'd you learn that one from? I figured it out. Where'd you learn it from? <laughs> the internet. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> the, but I saw TikTok? it. But I, no, 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 I learned this years ago, but I, I didn't, I never used it. Oh, okay. Because I was so, like, oh, I was always forget. Because otherwise, without that, that little string of light, it's pitch dark in there yes and, oh no and no not in my not in my room because my son the fucking fruit <laughs> has to fucking have a nightlight on so the bathroom light stays on with the door cracked <laughs> a little <laughs> now me i need pitch black okay i need to so because i can fall asleep and in, in, with light on yeah. oh i can fall asleep anyway i fell asleep at a racetrack i fell asleep at <laughs> uh i could I, I, I fall asleep anywhere i literally i was at a barbecue the other night i fell asleep <laughs> Because I'm fat and I'm tired, okay? <laughs> so that should be the name of a podcast. Fat and fat tired. Fat and tired? I'm, I'm sure that hey, is. Fat and tired before I hear it. Blah, blah, blah. So um, the next morning, my, oh, my wife goes, this is at, a, a, she goes, she, she goes, where are we parked? I go, parked in the parking lot. She's like. Parked in the itchy she lot. She goes, we should probably park in the elevated parking lot. I go, you really think the beach is going to flood? She's like, well, not the beach, but, you know. Oh, I see what you're talking the other, about. The other side could flood, you know, the harbor side. And I'm like. Very good point. So, uh, <laughs> 11, this is right before the tornado watch mm -hmm. warning. I went downstairs in the rain <laughs> in my pair of shorts and a t-shirt and my flip-flops. Got in the Flippy car. Flippy floppies. Got in the car. 
moved it from the fucking prime spot in the main <laughs> parking lot where I was just getting ready to unload. I could unload the the, the trolley cart. You oh, know, right into, there. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's prime real estate. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I, you yeah. could never get a spot in no, there. No, not at so, all. The only better anything better than that is handicap parking. Right, which I refuse to park in. Um, and no, I don't. I won't. But I, I would hope so. It's illegal. Yeah, well, okay. you know, everything the legal shit that I do, you say is illegal, but all right. Well, because you don't know how to drive completely Right, correct. because you're a fucking old lady. That's why well, you're a I, nerd. I, I've never um, gotten into an accident either that right. I caused. Same, same. Okay. Same. I don't believe so, it. So, you don't believe me? I have a clean driving record. That doesn't mean the same thing. I've, n- I've never been in an accident that I've caused, ever. I hate when you have the actual conversation with yourself and also have talk for both sides I've of the conversation. I've had conversations with my dog being Different ball game. Different ball game. He's answered me, and he's won. Com- he's won arguments. I've I've had full conversations with my, with my pets as well. Okay, so what about the sex dolls? They're usually gay. Thinking about buying one. Um, J- just go with the flashlights. Easier to clean. Well, I figure with my new Biden check that I'm getting every three hundred thirty-three. What is up with this bullshit that yeah, I heard kid. about? I finally what, got my first what check, the man. Fuck, man. I, my wife goes check the check the checking account this yeah. morning, and sure enough, it was there. You know what I'm buying? More guns. What? <laughs> fuck you, Joe. <laughs> that is. Can I um, borrow one of your kids for a month? No, no. Just, just the you know, three hundred thirty-three want... bucks. Three hundred thirty-three. What an odd, weird number. I don't know. I get a certain amount for each kid. <laughs> I'm like, does the dog count? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, the next, so I moved the car up to the fourth floor of the uh, elevated lot. Okay. The next morning, we go, we, you know, we load up. A little, you would have not have known there was a fucking storm. This hotel cleaned every window was spotless. Everything was there, the beach. The beach. It was like they combed the beach at seven o'clock in the morning. Or something you couldn't tell there was. Which any they usually, thing. literally do comb it. Yeah. Um, the only reason I knew there was a storm when I got to my car on the fourth floor because I was parked closer to the beach side, mm-hmm. the salt water that was on <laughs> my paint job, like the wind, I couldn't even see out the windows. I was like, <laughs> with the, with the, I was like, oh my god! Um, actually, I I immediately sprayed down the car when I got home. I have to actually wash it. Wash I remember it uh, one time when I was in Ocean City, uh, nothing the dogs probably were already drinking, and um, we, we were like high. We were like fifteenth, sixteenth floor or something. I looked down and they were um, cleaning the um, the pool area, and the guy cleaning the pool area, you know, just you know, sweeping up and stuff like that. But he also straightened out all the chairs. But he was so like OCD meticulous about it, like he would move every chair like half an inch just to make sure they all lined up correctly. It was mesmerizing to watch. I'm out there sit staring at this guy, and my cousin comes out. I was like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, "I'm watching the janitor." He's like, "What?" I'm like, You're watching this guy just, just straighten out these chairs, and I'm, I'm obsessed. You're strange. It was, weird. it was very calm. It was almost, it was almost a uh, ASMR in real life. Okay. All right, I get it. Um, and that's another segment of Frank not caring about any of my stories. We're going to move right along why now. Do you say that? We've been recording now for an hour and seven minutes. Why do you say that? And I think I said forty-five seconds of story. It's <laughs> not true at so, all. So. That's not true at all. You no? told plenty okay. of stories. Okay. Um, I'm doing this work for the show, fuckface. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so. Well, I can tell you about how uh, I'm finally. My life is finally getting back to normal. Well, I'm not done. Months. Oh, I'm so. sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I'm glad I knocked over the head back. We head back, you know, yeah. and what's normally a four and a half hour ride uh, home turned into about yeah. six and a half hours because apparently there was like a major crash on New Jersey Turnpike. Oh, and, really? oh, by the way, Delaware drivers and Pennsylvania drivers, and I'm talking about you, Red Jetta, you could go eat a dick, okay? Because you guys from Delaware do not know how to fucking drive. This guy was driving on the shoulder. He was both shoulders driving. At the Pass- same time? Passing people like crazy. Really? The guy was a fucking lunatic. All they're just to get three cars ahead of me. And then traffic would build Honestly. up. Traffic would build up. And then, and like, he actually cut me off one point and, and I, I, <laughs> I bribed him. And the first time he he cut me off, I bribed him and he, he gave me the hand. Like, what this? And I was like, You what? I gave him the brights. Oh, brided him. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't know what you were talking about. What the fuck do you think I said? Brided. B R I D E D. You're not that fucking wax, man. All right. Come I on, did, and there was a a thing just came out, like like a chunk. I don't want to hear it that. was. I mean, I was able to hear. You're a disgusting human. I was able to hear you are for as long as the day is. Disgusting human. So, uh, but yeah, I miss Ocean City. But yeah, my life is getting back to normal though. Thank you. Well, oh, actually, wasn't done. But okay. Um, Continue. No, so uh, I saw parts of Delaware and New Jersey. 
that I've never been to before. And I'm not telling you about when you literally, you know, cross the tracks of a of a train, you really go into another neighborhood. Because we went to one, we were like, wow, these houses are really nice. We went over tracks. I'm like, oh, God, roll them up. No, it really is. That's like such a true It's fucking statement. true. It's weird. It's tr- I don't remember the town in New Jersey, but it was off somewhere, Route 130. I have no idea where I was, but thankfully the ways got me home. And every time, and it was fucking with me. It was like 15-minute delay, 15-minute um, route change. You know, it, yeah. it, would, it would like give me a time delay, then it would give me... Then it would give me, uh, oh, we got a shorter route. Then five minutes later, time delay. You know, Did it laugh at, at you in the background? No, but you can have a, um, there was a new voice available, but I didn't click on it. I forgot who it was. Hal. Um, Hal 4000, yeah. whatever it was. What are you doing, Frank? Um, <laughs> and then uh, that was it. We had a really good time. Like I said, the kids really didn't fight, which was a first. Oh, that's good. Which was definitely a wow. first. But um, Shocked. Yeah, so now why is your life getting better? I'd rather not talk about it. Well, you only brought it up twice. I'm just saying. Someone's reaching out for help and attention. Go ahead, Larry. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was just going to say I bought wrestling tickets for the first time in a year and a half. Well, that's not really helping. And I'm finally going back to arenas, you know, full full, but, full arenas. But how is your life getting better? I'm getting out. I'm enjoying life. I actually have a new set of friends I'm going to the shows with. Even, that already whoa, treat me whoa, better whoa. than my current friends. Well, so, you know, they don't know you yet. This is true. I'll tell you this much: they pay me quick enough, and huh? um, you know, I owe just, you money. Uh, you probably do at some point. How do I owe but, you money? Um, Wait, no, 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 no! You don't just get to say that. <laughs> you don't owe me money. You don't go to any. You don't. You don't like the same shows I go to. And I already paid you for the Chip Chipperson show, and for the the comedy show. Uh. I, I don't understand. You like you insulted me in that. You were like you. you have that was part of friends. the joke. It was part of the joke. Yeah, I'm playing the straight man. It's part of the joke. I'm just joke. We, we got to talk about this beforehand. Yeah. Yes. And really, Larry, it's I not can't like stand other, it. you know, At least we're at least like we're talking to each host. other. At least we're what? actually having a back and forth. Yeah. So that's good. In any event, um, so I'm just like I said, I'm happy to go back, going to the Garden, and go for the first time ever to Arthur Ashe Stadium in Queens. You've never been there. No, never been there for the first time ever. This I was there wrestling. when uh, so. when when they uh, actually before they opened. I was working production. And how old are you that you were there before the stadium was there? Didn't he die in like seventy eight? Google that shit. When they built, when did they build it? It had to be ninety eight or ninety nine. There is no way that that was built in ninety eight or ninety nine. Okay. Go fuck yourself. That's first of all. Secondly, we were interviewing John McEnroe, and I was, uh, he was a dick to me. I was the PA, <laughs> and he wouldn't wear the same shirt because apparently it was supposed to take place in two different days. Oh, okay. Oh, it was, we were shooting two different days, and he refused to wear the same shirt as this. <laughs> oh, because you wanted it to look like Continuity. Awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he had a Ranger jersey on one day, and he had a, like a tennis shirt on the next day. And so when the final edit came through, he was bouncing back and forth from shirts because um, he's a fucking douchebag. Um, when is it built? When was it built? Don't worry about it. When was it built? Not no. really concerned. When was it built? 1997. What did I say, 98? You said 99, I think. I said 98. Go eat a dick. <laughs> you fuck. Um, so uh, we were doing interviews with people there, and I remember the only thing open was one fucking concession, and it was like $8 for a bottle of soda, <laughs> a bottle of water. And I'm like, fuck. Sounds about right. But I was the PA. Was before there? Nothing. I don't think it was anything. They just built it. It was right next to Shea. Yeah, no, that I know. Um, but uh, we were shooting uh, promos for the U.S. The first U.S. Open they were holding. I think that was, was the U.S. Open. Is that what the, sure. the event? I don't know. I don't know tennis. But um, we were actually watching. Uh, what's the guy? Uh, the bald one was it? Pete Sampras. Andre Agassi. No, no. I think it was Pete Sampras. We were watching him practice. We were shooting him practice, and McEnroe was kind of like. There was another stadium there before. Oh, it was okay. The facility replaced the Louis Armstrong Stadium. Okay. And I said to myself, my stadium is closed. <laughs> it's because I'm black. Oh, That's wow. That's what he said. I didn't say it. He said wow. it. Wow. So, Something about sight lines supposed to be really good. I don't know, but it was a really nice stadium. It was um, open, yes. It was, okay. But, uh, yeah, he was a dick to me. Uh, he, um, I think I might have told this. Um, he had me hold his guitar. Okay. He's a guitar player. Um, I guess it's his hobby. And I had... A tripod on my back for the camera. I had camera batteries strapped to my belt, which weigh about 10 pounds each, <laughs> and miscellaneous other shit. And he's like, hold my guitar. So I was holding it by, I guess it's called the neck of mm-hmm. the guitar. Yes. And he yelled at me. Yeah, you're not really supposed to hold it through that way. Well, I had no other fucking hands, and my dick wasn't big enough to hold it the other end. So you talk about your dick a lot. You know, you are. 
I didn't. I don't no, talk you about you. Talked yours. about gayness and dickness. So I they don't even. Kids. They, I hate my they, kids they, with a passion. <laughs> I hate them right now. I hate them. <laughs> so he goes, "Hey, PA production assistant." He goes, I, "I'm like, yes, Mr. McEnroe." <laughs> He goes, hold my guitar right. Oh, don't hold it at all. I'm like, wow. I, I'd, I'd like to not hold it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I now have to hold it with one hand here and one hand. Uh, Larry, if you could describe what I'm doing. Uh, basically, almost like he's holding a two by four. No, like shred, holding, or or uh, maybe a like pizza a, pie. Holding like a sheet cake. Okay, okay let's use a sheet okay. cake. Sure. So, you know, I'm holding it flat. So, yeah. it's, so he was a dick. He was. It sounds so like it. Is I, he the one that's always yelling at the umpire? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Umpire, um, ref, mm, I don't know. line judge, modal line. Okay, line judge. Yeah. So I took his guitar and I fucked with the tuning, not knowing that he was going to play it. That he was going to play <laughs> it. So one of the last shoot shots of the day, John Macron was like, he's like, he's like, every time I play tennis, I think of this song or whatever. And then you go, and oh, I'm like, oh, does anybody need a battery? You want me to go get you, a director? You want me to get you some water? I'm going to. And he goes, you want me to pick you up something from Pennsylvania? Twang. <laughs> and it, it was like, whoa. And he, he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he's like, all right, you know, you got me, you know? <laughs> Years later, I got my revenge on John Macker. Oh, that's right. What? Jo- oh. First of all, how the hell did you, make, you turn my story into a you story? Because I've lived. That is fantastic. I've lived lives. Your life is, I don't know. Okay. I'm a lot older than you. You are. So, yes, therefore, I've seen things that you can't that's even true. imagine. Yeah. Years later, we're doing another shoot with John McEnroe. Okay. And now, I'm a teleprompter operator. Oh, is that, so, a, is that, a, is that a raise or is that a demotion? Oh, no, that's a raise. Okay. That's, that's, a, <laughs> okay. that's uh, $100 a day to ah. $250 oh, a day. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, and, um, uh, so, I forgot where we were. We might have been back at Arthur Ashe. Okay. But now, I'm his teleprompter operator, so I control his voice. Oh, no, it's the easiest job because I make $250 a day to yeah. do this. Larry, you're going to have to explain what okay. I'm doing. So he's just, oh, you just twist the knob. And probably the faster you twist the knob, right. the feed and right. But Who I put also... a question mark on there? You know he's always going to read what's on the teleprompt. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I mean, also, if there's script changes, I mean, it's a whole computer program. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I have to put the, put. they give me the script. I mm-hmm. put it in, uh, whether it's, sometimes I've had to manually write the script in, but other than, so most times it was just, you know, a a disc yeah. and back then a disc and a three, <laughs> three, yeah, three and a half inch floppy, you know, and then we it would load up and somewhere along the script we were very ahead. We, Tom, uh, John McEnroe was on a break. I wrote, John McEnroe is the worst tennis player in history, <laughs> and he read it. <laughs> And I got chewed out by my boss. Oh, I'm sure. Did you get fired? No. Oh. But it was worth it. He was like, what'd you do? Because he got pissed. John McEnroe yeah. was like, he's like, what the, who wrote that? I go, I don't know where that came from. I denied it. <laughs> because fuck John McEnroe. <laughs> and uh, and then, um, that, I don't know if that's actually better than my Trump, uh, the one I played the trick on Trump. I don't but. know. I mean, the Trump thing is kind of rude. But, you know, McEnroe. McEnroe's a dick. He, he can't come off like that. No, he was a yeah. complete douche nozzle. So um, He might have deserved it, but. No, he did. He did. So, uh, and I want to go, hey, remember me, fucko, from three years ago? So, um, revenge. So, we got mail. Really? You've got mail. Nice. Can we well, put the AOL thing? All on? my shows have been getting a lot of mail. I well, like we're, it. We're moving places. We still haven't seen Good. a penny, but we That's are right. getting mail. So, maybe we should start charging people to send us mail. Well, you know, we can start charging people to listen to the podcast. No we, one's going to listen. We can pay. Yeah, I, know. I don't know who well, would Maybe pay we should do a Patreon. Because this we, shit ain't free, all this equipment. No, you're right. We could do a Patreon, but I guarantee you no one's going to want to pay for, to listen to us. Well, they're not going to pay to listen to us. They're going to pay to keep our production costs low so we can keep giving this fine product that we have. Which works, but I we mean, have to- I have to buy throat lozenges after this sh- every oh, episode please. because of my voices. All right. And who's the one put editing, editing this so it sounds gorgeous? Who's the one not Thank putting you. any of the edits I tell them to put in? What? You have to write legal, it down and you have to send legal, it to me legal, in a memo. Legal, legal. You have oh, to right, do I have to call it your properly. secretary? Yes. Yay. My mother. Um, so I hear you calling. <laughs> so what do we got? We have an email from a good friend from overseas, Lawrence. Oh, nice. Hello, Lawrence. Lawrence. Lawrence, well, let's, let's, let's do Lawrence. it properly. No, no. Well, he also wrote in parentheses Lawrence. So I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm I'm gonna, I get to call him Lawrence. Well, I'm going to use- I'm fucking reading it. I'm going to use native tongue and call him Lawrence. I don't think that's right. Sinok. 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 Sinok, which hopefully is gone. Eric, it's not. Um, <laughs> Did you play? Hit. No, I didn't. Did you play? I swear on my mother. Look at me. Okay. I know I know someone did, though. Did he? Oh, no, no, no. I, I can't prove it. I just know. Who? 
either one of them could do it. I uh, he's probably him. He, him, he, not he, Eric. He, okay, he who shall not be named. He shall not be named. Okay. Yeah, no, we're talking about PUBG, the game we all play at night, uh, like the <laughs> battle royale game. Um, so no, we have a uh, email from Lawrence. Lawrence. Okay. Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> okay, so it says again, printed, handwritten, pr- printed, handwritten, scanned, scanned, and emailed because he is afraid of his own government. And to much think- like me. <laughs> Are you being watched? Trust me, Biden's not watching you. Oh, no, I shut my Alexa off, like, when I'm talking. Oh, I got to tell you what happened to me today. Real, super quick, we were talking about something at work, and um, there's a website that you can go on, and basically people go on to the website and just bitch about where they work. It's called, no, it's a real website. I think it was meant for something else, but obviously people turned to something. It's called Glass Wall. Okay. Glass Wall. And what's great about it, what's funny is people will bitch, say terrible things about where they work, and then put their name on it, and then like they're still working there, which is dumb. the stupidest thing of all. Because someone's like, "Oh, is your name on glass wall?" I'm like, what are you talking about? So I mentioned, so I because I work from home still, so this is in a group chat. So I probably said out loud, "Oh, that's right, we were on a, a meeting, so we were a bit here." I said out loud, maybe glass wall twice. So I'm like, "Oh, let me look at, let me just look it up on the on my phone." All I typed in was GL. I've never visited this website a day in my life. Boom! Mm-hmm. Glasswall.com. Oh, yeah. My neighbor up the street, I don't know if you could see it when you leave, he just- Beautiful big titty women. Beautiful big titty women. Beautiful big titty women. Let's see. B. E. Bed, bath, and beyond. A. Nah, Beautiful nah, big titty nah, women. Um, Beauty and the Beast. Um, <laughs> my neighbor up the street just got a flagpole installed in front of his house. Mm-hmm. So I messaged him. I was in my kitchen. And I was like, oh, I said, Aunt, I love you. I love the flagpole. I go, where'd you get it? And he sent me a link. Uh, he's like, yeah, I got it on Amazon. He texted me back. I got it on Amazon, whatever. It was really easy to install. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, now uh, Stephanie I might, Stephanie was there when, you know, in the morning. And she's like, oh, it looks really good. We sh- I said, I really want to get one. She's like, well, what about the one you have? I went, I'm not in love with it, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. All day long. Her and I both. All day getting, long? All day. All day long. We've been getting... Uh, Instagram sponsored pages, old glory flag posts. <laughs> polls. I'm like retractable. I'm like, ooh, well, I might buy one. So you cannot run away from it. Big brother is all around us. Just accept He's it. He's coming to my door with his jab jabs. Just accept. Come on, man, take the take the take the vaccine. Come on, Frank. Come Please on, man. Please call me. Please call me if you if you see the truck coming down the block. Oh, I'm I'm if any one of those fucking <laughs> douchebags comes to, comes to my door, I'm immediately <laughs> pressing record. Okay, I'm I'm gonna like when they open up door, I'm gonna be like get the fuck <laughs> off of my property, you cocksucker. Do you follow the the um the, the lady who does the uh, Kamala Harris impression on TikTok? On TikTok. I think I've seen her, but I don't know if I'll I follow her. I'll forward it to you. She's funny. She's I good. Think she, she, She's she, got the she, laugh she, down yeah, yeah, I, have, I have seen her. I, I, she is funny, but yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if I follow her or not. Okay. But, um, She's good. She's good to follow. Um, okay. So back to our right, email. So Laurent. Yes. Laurent. 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 Okay. He says, dear Frank, should we do it in a French accent? Or, is he French? I don't think he's French. Right. Isn't he from like no, Deutschland? Oh, no, he's from Belgium. That's oh, Belgium. From, uh, Waffles. No, no, Norway. He told us. Denmark? Modal. Laura, just write us again. Uh, yeah, he told us in the last episode. He did. We don't pay attention. Dear Frank and Larry, this is, this is how we care about our fans. Yes. Well, fan, uh, fan. <laughs> well, actually, we have two. Rob, we have multiple. We have, we have, well, multiple. I wish I could have multiples. Um, Can you imagine? Would you be able? Like, <laughs> honestly, be able to let, let, let's. Let's. I let's have no job. I'd be living with you. A sp- <laughs> We'd be Cartman and Cartman too in fucking your apartment, ordering fucking. I'm Larry, just- order me pizza. I don't know how. I'm scared. Oh, hold on. Wait. What? What what do you got there? What is that? What do you got? <laughs> my cousin. What are those? My cousin dropped off a couple of bags of these. What? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, is that chocolate? No. What is it? They're like Cadbury mini eggs. Yeah. You almost didn't get that in your mouth. What was that noise? What was that? Is that your phone? No. I swear to God, it wasn't my phone. That was your phone. That was not my phone. Oh, it's probably Stephanie's computer. <laughs> it's works over there. <laughs> okay. All right, Frank Larry. The Alanis Morissette irony with Frank's difficulty in reading my cursive is that I learned it in first grade in Texas. Hey, listen, it's not, I know cursive. You write like shit. <laughs> Were you born in Texas? That's what we got to All know. my exes lived in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. That's true. Um, like my penis. It was great to hear you honoring Pride Month, one year, decade, in episode 93. 
by talking extensively about your penises, <laughs> plural, peni. <laughs> Guys, guys uh, oh, 93 fun. was uh, when we went to the comedy show, yeah. Jen's comedy show. Jen's comedy show, when yeah. you uh, started talking, questioning me about Bailey J. I asked a question. Uh, it's a very simple question. It makes sense to me. What was the question? For all you new listeners, would you find it weird? Which would you find more weird um, You know, if you, if you had to go down or if you chose to go down on a, uh, a transsexual? Um, you know, pulling down a pair of panties or pulling down a pair of uh, jeans to get to... The, the, peni. the penis. Because penis. remember, it's not chicks with dicks; it's dude with tits. What? What, about, what was my answer? What was, I you said, said it would be jeans. weird if it was a pair of jeans, which makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because I guess if it's a skirt, and it's all right if it's a skirt. See, this is what worries me, Larry. Because this is now this is. This... But you are aware of what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, obviously you're aware of what you're getting yourself into. Are you saying, is it weird if you didn't know what you're getting yourself into? No, it's just like if you knew what you were, like, all right, so you're here, I, this is happening, right? Okay, clearly. What did you do last We both weekend? have the same equipment, but at least give me a little is something. Is hers his bigger than mine? Normally they're not, from what I understand. Wouldn't know. I mean, I don't know. You know. This devolved. I, it's just, it's weird because a lot of the mainstream companies are now starting to produce those type of videos mainstream companies yeah, vivid new, That's new direction thing? actually vivid i, I thought it was I just like brazzers no but there's still you know there's there's uh you know evil angel uh there's uh, uh zero tolerance i think it's called i have no idea what you're talking about you know about. a lot of these groups Honestly, and, and, because now, and a lot of a lot of mainstream stars are starting to film scenes with trannies really yeah Oh, I think I did see an Angela White video. Possible. That threw me for a loop. Um, I got to start, re- sweet, I gotta start I reading those captions. Uh, yeah. Do you know that the uh, the decorator, Peter North, was on Adam Carolla? The, other the, the decorator. The decorator. It took me a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he was on. He, <laughs> he's still alive? Yeah, he's like retired. But um, he, um, he uh, uh, what is, they asked him a question and he was like, oh, he goes, how does it work now? Like, he goes, it seems like, you know, my son could just, you know, turn on a, uh, because oh, let's yeah, be yeah. honest. Peter North, he was in he the gold, started, He was in that golden era of porn. He you know? started in gay videos. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. I heard the whole interview. He's not how he started at all. You mean that two-hour video I watched was not him? Might have been him. He was independent. He never signed a contract, but he did not start there. Okay, because he told the story of how. Go listen to the latest uh, Adam Carolla episode. Oh, it was recent. Okay. What? Oh yeah, it was like two days ago, three okay. days ago. Um. So. He was like, you know, he, Peter North get the greatest answer ever. He goes, they asked him, he goes, oh, how does it work now? Because I know you had the golden era where we had actually, you know, find porn on like, you know, these pay-per-view channels or whatever. He goes, and you had to pay for it. Obviously, he goes, he goes, how do they make their money now? It seems like you just go on the internet and it's free porn. Peter goes, Peter North goes, you know, I, I got no idea. I'm like 59. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, <laughs> I'm like, fair enough. I but, did what I had to do. Yeah, yeah. He got out before, uh, was it? Uh, the height of the AIDS, uh, I think. Maybe yeah, it was basically. after post No, way after that. Okay, so back to the letter. Laurent. Given that Larry, uh, it was great to hear you honoring Pride Month one year, decade, or whatever, in episode 93 by talking extensively about your penises, plural, peni, exclamation point. Well, you know, we have we have gay fans out there. I know of one. Um, given that Larry would <laughs> like to lose some weight, consider my problem. 40 plus years old, 5'7", right. All right. 120 pounds. That doesn't sound like a problem. Five seven one twenty. I He's wish I was one hundred. I wish I was two hundred and twenty pounds. Uncircumcised. Good for you. Finding a woman. He's the odd vok. <laughs> Finding. You think Ron Jeremy smells <laughs> like he's got a musk to him? Um, he definitely has I a mean, musk. I mean, they call him the Hedgehog it's, for a it's reason. It's probably like Paco Rabanne or something. Probably. I'm sure yeah. he's wearing. Yeah, something very, very. He Italian. definitely puts something like, like patchouli or something on him. Or something. Don't mock the patchouli. I am. All right, patchouli, Beth, please I'm stop washing his clothes in patchouli. Please, it makes my whole house smell and my chair <laughs> that I sit in. Um, Hurry up. I got to take a nap. Finding, oh, you, know, you fall asleep, I'll kill you. Finding a woman, in, I will call you. <laughs> you have a house phone? No. Uh, it's going to expire soon. Finding a woman in my approximate size ballpark is damn difficult now that Epstein didn't kill himself. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does he think... Oh, I, I, did you see the fan? did you see the thing on uh, the Walmart? Uh, I think I sent it to you. Um, the guy yes. who p- he paged Clinton yes. Clinton killed Epstein in yep. Walmart. <laughs> Frank, 
How do you and Larry? How how do Larry and I avoid turning into a grumpy old man? Your number one fan, Lawrence. Laurent. Lawrence, aka Lawrence. And he spells Lawrence right too yes. with a W, not a fucking. How U. do you? How do Larry and I? How do Larry and I avoid turning into a grumpy old man? Simple answer: You can't. <laughs> It's inevitable? It's inevitable. God damn. Well, Larry already looks like a grumpy old man. Uh, I am. Um, I, pl- I plan on going full Grand Torino, um, and but I'm calling it Grand Prix uh, instead. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to go down in a blaze of glory. Okay. And set up some... Uh, oh, my phone just went off. I think I have to go start a fire because, God forbid, my wife ever survived without me um, because there's going to be s'mores coming soon. S'mores? Can I have some some mores? I didn't have any yet. Oh, okay. You didn't see Sandlot, did you? Actually, no, I've never seen Sandlot. Get out of my house. I know. Do you never... want the DVD? <laughs> I'm shocked you don't have it on VHS. I don't have. I don't use the VHS. I'm I'm down with modern technology. <laughs> it's all Blu-rays and DVDs here. What about streaming? What about it? I have that too. What? Explain to me what movies you have to desperately watching your life to still subscribe to physical Netflix DVDs. Well, the one I currently have upstairs is The Hurt Locker, which I cannot find on streaming. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, which I cannot find on streaming that I already pay for. <laughs> oh, come on. It's probably cheaper to rent it on, like, Amazon. No. How much is physical DVDs a month? Well, I have the streaming and the physical DVDs. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's, it's like probably like $50. No, from Netflix? Yeah, they're expensive. No, it's like sixteen ninety nine a month. Can't be. Really? Okay, go fuck yourself. It is. That's what it is. Why would well, I Well, hold on. You? Do you do, is it just regular sh- HD streaming or 4K streaming? Well, this is the only 4K TV. Oh, that's here. right. One well, upstairs all right. Is... Well, you watch movies down here, right? Occasionally. Okay, so yeah. why don't you watch it in 4K? Why you... would I? Why would I? Because you paid money for when 4K When I have television. all 4K TVs that no. stream Netflix, then I'll upgrade no, my Netflix. But... Then this is not getting its No, because I have this for my Xbox. No, correct, but if you're gonna watch Netflix on mostly here, but I mostly mostly play this Xbox down here. But sometimes you watch Netflix. Not often. I had to buy a new TV because of the Xbox series. But you're an asshole. And by the way, uh, if you're still listening, Eric, can you please pick up the old fucking TV? It's been there for three months. Eric's not listening. I know he's not. He, he my family You think my fa- my mother my mother, my sister, my brother, they never listened to one episode. I heard them talk about other people's podcasts that we know. They've never listened to one of mine. So I could go say, oh, for you, go fuck yourselves, because I know they're not going to hear this ever. So well, maybe Frankie might. Frankie won't. Frankie don't even listen. He does. He listens. I, I'm still on episode four. My, he, he, he plays his episode on loop. That's all That's he does. That's true. Yeah, well. Fuck Larry. <laughs> <laughs> no one in my family listens to this shit. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck. But I'm not going to waste money on a brand new TV when I don't need it. So don't call me cheap, because I will beat I the fuck. I wasn't going to no, say no, cheap. I'll, I'll beat the fuck out of you. I, wasn't, I, will, I, I, there I, I, other, I fucking, I fucking there hate There are that. other you joke around, reasons I, you know why I, I can call you cheap other than the television. You keep fucking doing it, and okay. it drives me up a fucking wall. The TVs is just being modern. It has nothing to do with being cheap, just being modern. But there's nothing wrong with my television. It's there is something wrong with no, the television. No, it's not. No, this one's fine. There's nothing wrong with any of my televisions. The ones upstairs are there no, is problematic. The eleven year old TV not, upstairs. That is <laughs> ridiculous. No tell every television Works like it's brand should, should immediately new. blow brand up new. at eight years. Brand new. Larry, Why anyone would have a television well, after seven years? Well, how, how much do you have in your savings account, Larry? Uh, that has that's yes, none it does. of your, it has absolutely that has nothing, has to, absolutely do, nothing to do. I guarantee it's this a le- it's less than four figures. Nothing to do. It's less than four figures. Nothing to do with anything. Well, that's the difference. Because I have the same bills you have. No, you don't. No, you fucking. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yes, I do. Really. Yes, I do. Really. You really? know, like at one no, four, no, no, one no, quarter. No, 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 no. You know, no, no, like, no, like no. you know, one eighteenth scale. So, you know, I have that's the, the same only stuff. thing that's one scale I, about <laughs> you to me, okay? Oh, okay. You go with the fat jokes now. <laughs> well, All right. Fact, no, you said All right. it. All right. Whatever. I mean, whatever. I was talking dick size. I'm going to knock more of your change over. I don't care. Change. I can rebuild it. I have the time. I, I, but you don't have the technology. Plenty of technology. <laughs> okay. I'm going off the grid, motherfucker. I have plenty. Oh, I've, I've seen. Trust me. I want to see your uh, your chart, your rotating chart. Oh, for you. Oh, it's in the computer. Forget it. It'll take an hour to come up. Um. Wow. The Hurt Locker. Let's see where else it's streaming. Uh, let's see. Hurt Locker on Peacock. Stream for free. All right, fantastic. There you go. If you remember. Boom. Stream for free. If you remember. There'll be little ads in. It's four dollars to rent. Nope. Come on. Nope. 
All right, what other movies besides Hurt Locker? Well, that's what I have right now. I don't, oh. I don't know what's next. You're one only allowed I... one movie at a time? Oh, I need one movie at a time. Jesus, I'm not going to watch two movies at once. What the hell? No, I have the streaming. Hurt Locker's not even a good movie. It's a great movie. Hurt Locker's on Netflix. Yeah. It's not streaming. Trust me, I looked. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Well, not streaming now. Eventually, it'll come back. Mm-hmm. Well, I have it now. So, therefore, don't need it. Ooh, new Transformers is coming out. Remind me. Okay. Are you done? We're in the middle of a show here. Message of the Universe. <clears throat> remind me. You done? The movies that made us two. Remind you, me. <clears throat> you done? Sexy Beasts. It's my movie. All right. What time is it? Time for you to leave. Good. Anyway. I wish I wish you'd love me. I do love you. I just wish you'd listen to me. Oh no, I refuse to listen to you. Um all right, no, that's that's a pretty good um Yeah, I have the quantity spreadsheet, yeah. I have the size, mm. I have the expiration date. So mm-hmm. now I have chicken broth that's gonna expire <laughs> on August thirtieth, twenty twenty one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use that chicken broth and I'm gonna replace it with a new chicken broth. Oh. You have a problem with that? <laughs> so then I have I have it separated into food, and then my supplies, medical. Supplies. Supplies, month, and then my water. You don't have a lot of water. Oh, no, I have that. I got updated. Well, well water's going to be readily available, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, when you come to me looking for, can I, can I have a cup? I'm going to be like, it's going to cost you one bootio. And then I'm going to give you the water, and I'm going to burn the bootio in front of you. That's why you, why are you so mean? Because I've warned you, and you don't listen to me. No one heeds my advice. No, no one does. Because when, when the shit hits the fan, I told you, I'm locking all. I'm building a moat in front of my fucking house, locked and loaded, and no one's allowed in. My dining room fit, table fits right over my windows. <laughs> Strong, heavy oak. Hard like wood. All righty. I have steel doors. My exterior doors. No one's getting this fucking house. Impenetrable. Awesome. Worst case scenario, put the dog on a stick. <laughs> what? Fucking roast his ass. <laughs> wow. That's if we run out of spots. Wow, that quickly? Listen, Holy He's cow. the first to go, then the boy, then the girl, then the wife. <laughs> and then I stand alone. <laughs> At that point, I'll have a beard down to my belly. Probably, and yeah. Be emaciated, crazy, and good to go. Anyway, so we uh, we're actually supposed to go live this episode, like Larry said earlier. Um, but um, we're gonna try and do a live episode before our hundredth episode. Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm thinking we should have a guest or two for our our one hundredth episode. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I think I could uh, squander up a guest or two. I'm gonna try and see what I can do. So, um, yeah, we should really have a big party. We can rent out a hole. Mm. Too big? No one will come. It's just us. What about your backyard? Still too big? We can do my backyard. Um, it might be cold though by the time let's see it's uh, we're probably looking about October I still feel like that's not right timing it's probably not alright I was gonna do old news but I'm not so get off my lawn yeah alright I'm thirsty and I gotta go make s'mores s'more what s'mores you're killing me smalls you hear the kids I do loud and annoying let's go annoy them I'll go up there with no shirt on Oh, I told my daughter, I said, I, I, said, I said, fuck with me, and I promise you, I'll pick you up every day in a, a, a mesh cut-off <laughs> shirt. And she's like, you wouldn't. I go, you know I would. And she's like, fine. I have one. Oh. All right, folks. Back when I was in, uh, in roller derbies in the early 80s. Good night. Native love is restless, and I'm just not satisfied. Fight, 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 fight,